after a close encounter with the sun-touched of Imesford's southern port town of Brigitte. The night passes slowly. Every brush of a nearby tree against the canvas of your covered wagon makes you fear the worst, shooting you awake to find the children that you've been tasked with protecting sound asleep. For a time, you sit up and watch, unable to close your eyes again just yet. They dream so easily, even on a night like tonight. And as you look up at the moon reflecting onto the distant wall around Zealous, you wonder how many nights they've endured like this, and how many nights it took for them to close their eyes again. Got that for Christmas. <laughs> wow! Glad you guys could hear. How that. does it fit all the way? A whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Hey, man. Whatever how much was that? You guys, you how know, did, you, did that. they tell you how much that was when they? they... Um, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable saying. It. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, it was that much. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I am. Pretty sure nobody here saw the intro because I sent it out last week and then <laughs> or we probably we did. two weeks ago. I yeah, did and then we didn't play. Week. We didn't play. Yeah. Okay, so basically, too long didn't read. It was Christmas. <laughs> basically, you guys. Uh, okay, so basically, were able to uh, keep your your uh, shipment hidden from the group of Sun Touch soldiers that came to inspect your covered wagon. Uh, you slept through the night and uh, were able to... Uh, you're now waking up the next morning. So we're waking up over in the forest. Yep. One of those lengthy rests. Mm. Is he back with us or is he still hiding in the woods with the kids? Oh, yeah. You got, you came back. I mean, I would assume, right? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, well, then the whole intro is wrong. That's yeah, fine. Will's new character rolls up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he died. He just, uh, <clears throat> too weak, you know? No, no, we made it back. Cool. What, uh, de- dawn is breaking. Ooh. What would you all like to do? We fix Save it. dawn. We fix it, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we fix oh, dawn. no. Oh, <laughs> Chelsea's never seen us play D&D. <laughs> it's, it's more or less it's like this good. the entire time. Yeah. This the whole time. <laughs> or worse. Yeah. Usually worse. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, when did, when did they say that they were going to meet us, Alex? What? When did they say they were going to meet us? Uh, they said that they were going to meet you in the morning. They didn't say exactly when. <sighs> okay. Um, as soon as Cheryl wakes up, he's going to send him to the, the dock lady. Okay. Um, we are we are further out now from the from the town. Yeah, so you never you we never went back. We in. would rendezvous. Mm-hmm. Cheryl's gonna say, um, "We we moved further out for safety. <laughs> Look for." A man in a bowler hat, <laughs> and then love he's Cheryl. Yeah, love, love Cheryl, Cheryl. <laughs> and then he's gonna. It just took you so long in between. Well, the- I didn't know exactly how I wanted to say this, but I figured it would not be good for us to like bring all the kids back and then be like, "Here you go," but we're like, we can meet and then bring them to our. Who are you messaging? The the the, okay. the lady that we made the deal with. The, the gnome is left. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh shit! Wrong number. <laughs> she she responds. She says, um, "I was being excited about the overlay." You just missed. Uh, you just missed the group, but I'll have to tell you that's not your only problem. Well, I'm not gonna ask what. <sighs> To the, the the only lady that we met, I didn't. We didn't meet the group that she sent. So. Gerelda Milbilda. You never got a name. <laughs> I don't think we. That's did. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. How I'll cool? be the no. judge of. <laughs> what do you mean? How, how, how do you? What is how, it? Would it be, yeah, what it's is right it? here, actually. What is it? 
We don't know. You guys don't know. Geralda. It's Axe Axe. Oh. <laughs> it's actually Indrid, if you must know. Oh, we, did. Yeah. we did know that. We did. <laughs> you must oh, know. Indrid? Indrid. Indrid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did, she, did she say love Indrid at the end of her message? <laughs> yeah, she sure did. That's how we know. Okay. Love Indrid? <laughs> That's canon now. Um, Indrid. Indrid. Indrid canon? It's- Indian, Cheryl, Indian, Cheryl would still Indian. Nebraska. <laughs> were you disguised? You were disguised when we met her. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come back with your disguise on, and then I th- throw the bowler hat on? <laughs> we can meet the group, so we don't have to bring everything back. <laughs> we want to. We're talking. We're going to talk to her. Not her, but like meet the people that she sent at the beginning. She just at said the they everyone. Yeah, but they know you. And the guards don't know the disguised you, but they know the disguised you. She might have given the description of disguised you. Disguised you. Say it again. <laughs> disguised me. Losing its meaning. Disguised you. Semantic sanitation. Disguised you. The guards, the guards, basically the guards recognize all of us and might kind of like, if they see us meeting with some people, like, Ooh, yeah. watch. Mm-hmm. But if but I go as bowler hat and you. then disguised you. <laughs> I'm naming a character that now. <laughs> well, you don't. I'll never be able to hear it well again. <laughs> all right. Disguised you and bowler hat Cheryl. You guys are toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, as... The two of you approach. My last name is Guys. <laughs> <laughs> First name Dis. Disguised you. That's the character name. Mm-hmm. As the two of you approach the rendezvous point, uh, you notice a uh, small caravan of sun touched um, around another larger uh, covered wagon with uh, several crates full of supplies. Presumably, um, they're moving past where. It, the rendezvous point was but you're able to flag them down um one of the the guard looks to you and says uh how can we help does he look like one of the ones that we saw last night this one doesn't but make a perception check <laughs> you're not even there i don't recognize you <laughs> <laughs> perception <laughs> Is it smell based? No. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be sixteen. Like hour, okay. <laughs> Did you just yeah. With a sixteen you actually notice the uh, the young um, sun touched guard that kind of glanced back the night prior. Uh, he's round the side of the uh, the covered wagon. Um, looks like uh, it's it's by choice. He does not want to be leading the front. Okay. But he's there. So he looks to me, Mr. Bowler Hat person. I'm generic dude that I always <laughs> am with the bowler hat. Yeah, uh, the, the, the I just yeah yeah okay. You were the first one he saw. Yeah. Um, we were told to meet a group. We have a shipment that we need to get to Crestia. Yeah, yeah. I uh, and you were supposed to be right here, as I heard. Oh, we're, we're on the way to Crescia. We're just right up the road. Yeah, well, there. we're right here now. You got a fucking problem? <laughs> Jeez. No, I don't, but things have changed a bit. And, What's up? Uh, well, first of all, you're not where you said you'd be. And second of all, you made a bit of uh, trouble for yourself. Uh-oh. The rate's gone up. How much did we already pay? We paid so much now and so much later. Uh... Was 750 now, 750 later, I think. If I remember right. It was, was 1500 total. I don't think we were paying the full 1500. I think we had talked her down, didn't we? I don't remember. <laughs> you talked her into doing like part now and part when it gets there. Okay. I want to say we did it was an even 700. It might have been. Do you remember you were the one doing most of the talking cuz y'all were in thieves can't and Cheryl was just like We can refer back to the, the recording okay, if okay. we need to, but yeah. Okay. I can check that later, is what I'm saying. And now the replay. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm just curious whenever he says what the raid's going up to, like what what the difference is. But I don't wanna like talk him down below what they originally agreed to. You know what I mean? <laughs> but <laughs> But yeah. Okay, so what's what's So why Sorry, I, I thought the uh, price we paid was all-inclusive, regardless of 
whatever stupid issues y'all were dealing with last night. Make a persuasion check. Is this or is this not a Sandals Jamaica? (laughs) (laughs) 18. Come here. And he kind of motions you to like lean in a bit closer. Word of uh, some trouble on the road last night has reached the ears of Lord Luton. And uh, he wants his cut. A thousand gold. Do we do we know that? Do we recognize that name? Um, make a history check. Relatively low DC for you. You're from here. Ooh, well, relatively low roll. Uh, seven. The name rings a bell. Um, at the very least, you know it's someone uh, that carries high standing within the Sun Touched military, and presumably here. Well, how much? A thousand gold. More? Yeah. Look, I don't make the prices. I already got my cut. Cheryl's gonna kind of like look at Ren, <laughs> Mister Persuasion Boy. <laughs> Or deception. I don't know. You're better than uh, all of that than I am. I'm the best, though. But I'm not here. Oh, actually, I have good. I have pretty good persuasion. I have plus five. I have plus nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, because five guards saw some people outside, we now have to pay an extra thousand gold because there was some issue outside the city look you seem pretty keen minded but I I gotta tell you not much happens in the city without Lord Luton knowing and a lot of bad shit happens yeah the guy heard that you were protecting a shipment potentially from a troop of sun touched and a rather decorated soldier my guess is that do you think the he sun thinks that's would, a tell that uh, do you think you the sun touch would recognize us I don't recall being anywhere near a shipment last night we don't look like we don't look anything like we did last night for what it's worth if anyone was actually there there's not many people that just camp on the road right outside of the town we got word that it so it happened right at where we were supposed to meet So the way I see it is your uh your parent contact. says he saw the whole thing and the the young human sun touch kind of peeks out from around the cart. Yeah, what the fuck do you see? I I didn't see them. But it was there. There was a cart. And if I mean if it was supposed to happen there then so we're getting punished because some fucking idiots got raided by the sun touched because the way i hear it the way he kind of like stutters a bit and then uh the same soldier kind of steps back in look (laughs) (laughs) yes we're those idiots ren included (laughs) like i said i don't make the rules i don't make i don't set the the prices and if you're if you're not able to pay i totally understand i mean the way i see it right now is you owe us 700 gold I don't know you anything. All right. Uh, Good enough. Two hundred more. I mean, we kind of do, right? Because we paid. We already paid half our way. So give us our fucking gold back, and we'll be on our way. Make a persuasion check. Persuasion and deception. <laughs> and now we have to find a different person to take these kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Twenty. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I say we bet on his morality and just dump them in front of him. <sighs> we don't hey. actually want to fuck the kids. We want Look, the kids to live. That's not what I said. I also maybe, I'm glad that we said that. Maybe there could be a little bit of wiggle <laughs> room. Like I, know. Yep. I just, would be happy to really lessen cool. our rate rather than but forego the business entirely. Mm-hmm. It's okay. 
We don't want to. How's 500? <laughs> Feels a bit redundant. I'll be honest, that's the best I can do. 500 on top of what we've already paid you. Whatever you're having us carry, it must be worth an awful lot. We carry a lot of risk. So we need to be paid something. You've been paid 1,400. Luton's gonna get his cut. No matter where it comes from, you or me. Well, they've, they've, they've only already been paid half. I'm tr- just to be... Uh, just an extra five instead of an extra thousand? Correct. How much extra do we have? Rin would know this, and that's the only reason I'm asking. Yep. Well, we don't have the extra thousand. <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> I know that. Because we've already, if we've, we've already paid them half. I have 1,500 on me right now, but some of that is what I had before. We were given 1,500 to start. 97 gold? That's not helpful. <laughs> Our, Our yeah, Sinaway has most of the other gold. I've got 2,000... 136 gold. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> I mean, right now I can I can pay them the, the <laughs> if it's just 500. I can pay them the the five and seven. That's 1200. I would just have like we nothing owe left. More? We, yeah, we owe the other half, right? Which is seven, and then another five. We is seven, what saying and on then top. they want another five because some dude got something's more difficult. Got it. Him. Rude. Well, we're not there, so we're not. We would give you advice. 400 or you give us our 700 back your fucking choice make a persuasion check with disadvantage because he did already say like that's it you know pretty disadvantageous <laughs> <laughs> not what I wanted to say but I said it it's it pretty sense, bad yeah. I'm gonna use luck <laughs> oh my god was the first one a one or something it was a five, it was a five. <laughs> So you're re-rolling the five. I do have a question, though. Uh-huh. How does that work with disadvantage? What was your other roll? 17. 17. So I think you would just That's re-roll the five. Well, so it right? says whenever I make an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, I can spend one luck point to roll an additional Z20 and choose which die to use. So does that mean I'm re-rolling... You have to yeah, you, five. <clears throat> yeah, you Yeah, you already... Exactly. Your roll is a five, okay. effectively. So you always had to take the lowest, so that would. So okay, so five is your lowest. So then you re-roll, and then you Slow choose either five, the five you, or you, what you, you roll. Five. <laughs> you said that was such gusto, too. Sorry. <laughs> what you nice. He got his seventeen back. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so twenty-six. Yeah. <sighs> All Thank right. God for luck. I can make that work. Pay them in. Thank you. Gerald's gonna take out nine hundred. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Right. That's math. Yeah, I'm sure seven you are. are. Seven and four that, is... It is math. Is 11. it the right math? I don't know. It's <laughs> not the right math. Right? It has numbers yeah. in it. So ah, he takes your golden hand <laughs> and um, <laughs> kind of motions for the rest the of the caravan to move on. At the time and then in the morning, right? Like on the handoff, right? Or was it when it's there? Oh, it's it's at the it's at the handoff. Yeah, so it was, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, once, yeah. once we've given him this stuff. Lead the way. Come on. Cheryl's going to kind of like let you lead the way so that he can sending <laughs> to, to, to um, Sarnorn. Um, yes. <laughs> because we, there's a guy that recognizes. So he's going to send him to Sarnorn. Um, tell Taffy and Arsinaway to hide. Just tell them to go away. Done. Goodbye. Ah, you kicked out of the group. Show. Take the Adios. banners off the cart. Who are you telling this to? To, to Sardorn. Okay. okay. I think I think we did that last night. Someone. Someone from last night. From last, from last night, here. Love Cheryl. Love Cheryl. <laughs> okay, so our Sinaway is way too many syllables to count for just one word. <laughs> That's fine. I, have, I had an extra nope. six words left over, you so did, yeah. did. words, not so um, Yeah, I know. Well, it's seven words long, so. <laughs> oh, damn. damn. Our <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious 25 <laughs> times. 
have an even longer name. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the fucking lizard king. Me yeah. too. Lizard king. He's, 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 <laughs> yeah, we know yours, but no one can understand it. <laughs> and the car I can also had change my parents. Tafa yeah, You can do that too if you want to. It's up to, that's, that, that is up to your discretion. Fabia? Bobby? Change your appearance. You can also respond. Kids? You can respond. Um, What's the next part? The directions that we gave them was they don't look in it, they don't do anything, they get it across. Yeah, yeah, correct. They just, they just, they just leave it out there. All right, you say no, no, no. So you, what do we do with the wagon? Have them hide. Take the banners off the wagon because there were banners on the wagon that we left. That and they, that's they, all they, you they, said. They yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, no, and then you, I mean, you stay, but you have them leave and hide. Oh, because the the guy rec- you would you would understand the guy recognizes them but doesn't recognize you. Dude, that was almost a Spider-Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I you you can respond if yeah. you're confused, <laughs> and Cheryl will waste another <laughs> sending on it. I'm confusion. <laughs> Why is this Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas, but this not Kansas. Um. I will tell them that. <laughs> Did you want me to? Am I taking the wagon into town? No, yeah, I, I mean, we were discussed that we were going to meet them and bring them here before we left. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But now the, the only difference is that they the need to hide and you get lost. To, you need to disband the, the, the wagon. Um, hey, peace out. You guys need to hide because so, there's someone from last night one. that mm-hmm. recognizes you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we, we did the banners and last night. Well, you're doing yeah. it again. You're doing it again. Take, these oh, okay. again. Take them with you into hiding. Show them my ass. Okay, um, cast your... Cast I send them out, away. Chase. How how far are you guys going? I really don't know. I haven't had it for a long I don't time. Know. Where are we? You're on the edge of... Like uh, I mean, it's not a forest, <laughs> but... Are we by this market? Uh, you're north of it. Like a lot north of it? Like yeah, out of the I think we're all... Yeah. Up. Let's go into the... Into the woods. Okay. Into the woods, and we're gonna hide. Into Are we the thick of the it. Kids with us no. The kids stay with we're getting rid of the kids. Ah. We're killing them. <laughs> we didn't want you to I'm see. I'm taking care of it. That's why you're sending us away. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just because he's the only one that was still in the wagon, so we had to it's send him with the kids before, and they also don't recognize him. This is such a freaking man campaign happening right here. It's the boys all the time. Boy show. Even whenever it was his other character, it was always the boys. She came into town with me and Sam. One time. One time. <laughs> Literally last episode. <laughs> and I couldn't get it to keep y'all two from getting in trouble and blowing up a city. Mm-hmm. I've only blown up one city. Mission accomplished. You, you blow up some people to stay with you the car. You blow up one city and you've known it. It was one time. <laughs> you do one terrorism and you're known as a terrorist. <laughs> you, rob, you rob one elderly turtle and yeah. blow up one city. Yeah. You and rob one elderly thief. turtle and you blow up one city and you steal from thief. another guy. <laughs> and, you're, and, and, you're, the and your party guy. almost gets kidnapped by rocks. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ren and Cheryl can never be okay, left so alone again. Maybe you are. So. Are you going hide in the woods? <laughs> are we the baddies? <laughs> Why are like squirrels? Oh, oh God, we're like, bad guys. Really dense woods? <laughs> no, it's very sparse. And that's why I was going to say I'm going to have y'all roll stealth. Are there stealth, trees? Just <laughs> or is this... Um, Buffy are trees? Are there, yeah, you have full trees. You, you can, you can fly, like, too. You can just fly up the trees. Um, you're pretty... You're pre- like in a tropical area. He would We're in a tropical area. Go. I mean, it's more or less tropical. So like a lot of the trees don't have nearly the foliage that you might be used to. Is it muddy? Further north. Yeah, swampy? Keep on walking. They would, they would know. Do we them? feel like metas, bro. <laughs> just stick a, hey. you know, a little straw in our mouth hey. And hey. in the mud? Just go away. <laughs> we are. Just We're go. trying to fit. Morgan and I are <laughs> over here trying to figure out <laughs> just how walk. we are You're hiding. Here. Remember? You're all yeah, this is the boys trip. He's saying it through me. Because I'm also freaking out. <laughs> the idiots. We're, we're <laughs> as far as I know, they've left already. Yes. Yeah, we have already left. Because we're no trying to decide where we're going to hide. <laughs> go. We're going. Faster. Run! <laughs> we go towards the water? <laughs> we're going deeper in the woods. The woods are on the water side. That is. There's the no the fucking water woods. Side. Okay. Guys, you there's have, no You have wood. 10 seconds to decide what you're doing. We've already gone. I don't understand. I thought we already left. They're basically. Did you roll your stealth? 
No, no what? one asked. I, 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 I just rolled. I just Why asked would they you be to rolling roll. Stealth? They're they're walking they're like they're not stopping. I think is what they've decided. Okay, they're just walking. Yeah. Why would they be rolling stealth? Why would you guys go? Hide? Because they said they were hiding in the trees. This is why we were told to go. You told hide. them there are no trees. There are enough. trees. You said you said there are sparse trees. Yeah. Why would you go hide behind a sparse tree? <laughs> they're not complete morons in the game. <laughs> it's a sparse tree. Right That's what here. they decided to do. I don't know what to tell you. I'm hiding behind this sparse okay. tree. Okay. So you guys are out of the picture. You, yeah. Do you need my stealth roll? No. The group Good. <laughs> The group is arriving. Um and as they do, uh Sarnorin, you see uh <laughs> someone in a bowler hat uh disguised you. Oh, it's Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not him. Oh. In a bowler hat. Right. You see you see disguised you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. I was like, I'm not him. We confused ourselves <laughs> yeah. with our own dumb joke. <laughs> They'd come back to bite us in the ass again. And a small troop Idiot. of uh, sun touched around a large covered wagon approaching. Um, as they catch sight of your wagon, uh, the guard you've been talking to looks over. He says, um, Big So, uh, I know as much as we need to get this shipment to Crestia. Mm-hmm. But, um, where exactly? Across the wall. Across the wall. Just drop it off across the wall. Drop it across the wall? No. <laughs> <laughs> Handle across it with care across the wall. Fair enough. We can swing that. Don't swing All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was clear that we're not telling them to drop it off the wall, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put, swing knows. it. Like, don't, don't just throw it over the foot. <laughs> put, put it across the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are safe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like trebuchet. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, So, uh, which crates are going? And he kind of asks you to point him out, and I, I suppose. Yeah, well, yeah. You would know where the kids are actually hiding. <laughs> the ones know. that don't have religious garb in them. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so they look at all the spots. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, oh, don't no. do that. Uh, <laughs> and then you're all gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, then we would have been shipped off. <laughs> that would be the worst <laughs> idea. <laughs> Just don't. Yeah, we're like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so uh, the crates are <laughs> packed up. Easy enough. Uh, you do hold your breath a couple of times as you feel the contents of the crates shift a bit as uh, as they're being moved, but no sounds come out. Fucking kids couldn't just like tighten their cores in there and just suck it up, and not move around. Thanks for the eleven. Wow, who the are you giving might it be to? Big. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you're, like brace yourself on it. <laughs> and in no time at all, um, all the crates are loaded up. And uh, the guard looks at all of you. He says, uh, I think uh, now's where we get the rest. <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And uh, if I might add, <coughs> any business you have left in Brigitte, you may want to be uh, careful. It seems like you may have caught the attention of <coughs> someone you'd. Uh, What's his name? L- 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 Luno? Luntown? Uh, Luton. Luton is Luigi. the. Uh, Luton. L-U-T-O-N. Luton? Or Luton? Yeah. Luton is what you can call him. Yeah. Luton free. Luton. That's what this guard has been Just calling him, is Luton. one name where you don't make fun of it. It's too late. <laughs> Louis? Yeah. Will already said Luton free. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> I mean, the, the name is a play on words, but that's fine. Is it? Yeah. What was the full name and title? <laughs> Lord, if you his full name is uh, oh my gosh, because he's Luton. Lord Luton Rinderier. <laughs> oh, why, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do that to it. us? He's looting in the rear. <laughs> okay, that was not the he, joke. Oh, that's what I got from. Though. Like I looked across and Chelsea was like. Okay. His first name is Luton because he's uh, notably corrupt. <laughs> but anyway, okay. He kind of gives you that piece of advice, and the group begins to make their way. Once they're 
without like out of earshot cheryl's gonna go behind the cart take the hat <laughs> off sending to you guys be like oh you guys God, can come back it's cheryl <laughs> <laughs> you guys surprise huh <laughs> I'm back we can to turn me. back around, now, I guess. <laughs> hmm? So we can turn back around, I guess. Oh. And that I is guess. three sendings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did they send to us? <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. Either one. No, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you <coughs> love Cheryl. One. You don't have to do three. <laughs> <laughs> three. Who else do you guys have with you? Well, you said you said three sendings. So one to me. Oh, uh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got I, it. I, I thought you were talking about three right now. I sent one to her in the morning, and then one to him, and then one. So, at this point, what would you all like to do? Y'all are back. We're all back together, right? We're all back together. Are we outside of the city? Yeah. And the kids are gone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can go back into the city and we can take the cart with us now. We don't have to worry about it. We can just leave the fucking cart here. We don't need the cart. I mean, we paid for the cart. Did it's we? our cart. We now. did pay for the cart. We also paid for the donkey. That would ne- we have now and two donkeys. Attached to Clot. Or two we mules. Clot. Two S? Clot and Dot. Two mules. Clot and Dot. Clot and dot. Can't leave both of them. Clip and clop. Yeah, yeah and poor clot. So I guess I guess we'll right like now. make our way to town right and try now. and find an yeah, inn where we can clot. like keep our stuff. <laughs> you you fucked okay. up. Carrots. Yeah. <laughs> you did fucking. Well. So uh, the five of you now uh, <laughs> make your way back towards uh, <laughs> towards town. Where uh, where in specific? You said you're trying to find uh, an inn where you yeah, can I guess where we can everything. put our cart and mules. Okay. Um. As you would we be looking um, to sell the carton mules? Or, or we could mules? like rent it to a local farm while we're here? Rent it. They need pack kennels, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we or just We could just sell it, it to a farm? <laughs> I was just saying we could sell the cart and dot. Why wouldn't we just keep it and have Because it's tough to find a place to keep it when now we're Yeah, yeah, because so. yeah, now, now we, we either can't. sleep in the car or we park it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, like like essentially think about it like it won't go off road, so we're always gonna have to stay in the path with the cart. Mm-hmm. And if we, we want to run the cart, into there, we should keep Dot. Okay. So Clot has a friend. <laughs> so when we, we leave, when friends. we leave Clot, <laughs> 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 we can we can pay for another okay. thing. <laughs> so maybe that, we'll find a place to kind of like keep it for now. But like while we're in town, I guess we'll look for somebody who's in the market for a cart. Is there a wagon garage in town? <laughs> <laughs> a wagon resale? <clears throat> or that wagon yeah. resale? <laughs> That was very. That was very. I picked up the Livingston. Whatever. Wagon resale. Did you hear? It's no more good. Make a. (laughs) Ain't no more good. This cart ain't no more good. We need to get rid of it. it. (laughs) (laughs) I know what it is. We were just around our family. I I get it. Alex told me he almost picked up the accent. Make a survival check. I want to see how well you're able to find a place. Down to Luden's used wagons. God, seven. Not very um, good. My you can't remember nice. seeing a place that might uh, have room enough to house uh, house a cart, much less clot and dot. Um, the streets are very narrow, and the buildings are built on top of each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, outside of um, outside of Brigitte, you know that uh, there's a place called the Strand Market. Uh, there seems to be ample room there. Plus, it's a place where merchants gather. Uh, we got to pass by there to get into Brigitte anyway, right? It's more or less. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Brigitte is the city we're in right now. We're like on the outskirts of it. Correct. <coughs> to the market. Okay. And someone else try to sell this cart because I ain't good at it. Hey, we're sending away. I, feel Sorry, like I had to pop maybe. my knees. That's <laughs> hey, Should we, um. Yes. Wait. Should we wait? Yes. To yes. sell it? Do you need I don't me? know if we can unload it right now. <laughs> Kind of have a reputation in this town. Who's talk to me? The most corrupt person in town. Well, we Chances are they control commerce and sale. That's Maybe fine. we'll just keep it until we get to Crixton. Arsena, where they have a fight going Or here. there's a war going on there. We drive it have... into the river. Oh, I don't right. remember how much we paid for it, so Cheryl. I figured you'd be interested. <clears throat> I, like 50? I think I would be interested. I feel like it was more than that. No more than 50 gold. There's no way, How right? Much should we pay for the card? Do you remember? Like 50? 100? I can check. It's not that important. It's super important. Yeah, it depends on if Cheryl's game to just throw this in the ocean or not. <laughs> Before we turn in tonight, I'm going to go to the club. Fight club. Fight? Yeah. I think it was 50. 50? Okay. 
Yeah, sure, it's cool that. Fight clear. Go to the club. I mean, if y'all want to just down. leave it somewhere and we don't even have to try to sell it. Yeah. Why if it's still here when we come back, we can. Why would we leave it? I think that's animal negligence, right? No, well, we would take Clot and Dot with us. No, we yeah, we're cart. not going to leave the animals. We're going to take them with us, but the cart is going to. Why don't we just take the cart with us? Why don't we go? The town doesn't have any space for it. We want why to don't we? That, that's what. That's why what don't God we go said. get a drink parking only. and let her fight somebody? Okay, well then let's, leave let's go do that. Yeah. And we'll find a, we'll find place for put, <laughs> clot and dot. <laughs> and you're just leaving the cart. And we're going to leave the cart there. If it's still there when we come back out, cool. But if it's not, cool. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, just outside of the city gate, there is a small stable uh, where Stop. you might be able to keep cl- keep clot and dot. Okay. Can- um, yeah. But it's it's going to cost a gold a day. They'll keep them fed and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just can't forget them. A gold per <laughs> We definitely will. Yes. Gold per ounce per day? Yeah. All right. Before we stable them, I need to apologize to Claude. Okay. She should damn near kill What do you say? Um, I'm going to put my hand on his face. Um, that it was just a trick. I didn't mean to hurt them. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> uh. I mean, that is a twenty-three. I get what you're saying. What they Clot they found hesitates, but you see the hurt leave his eyes, and uh, he kind of moves uh, and and wraps his know, his mule head around around time. your shoulder, and you hear him. These people roll <laughs> down, oh, smuggle some goods. Hey, we're on good terms. <laughs> Left their cart. <laughs> we'll leave the cart near the stable. <laughs> just disappear. We'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave the cart near the stable, and if it yeah. if it disappears, we'll be like, "Oh, we thought this was part of it. Oh darn!" Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. But we'll leave oh. it near the stable so that it, it just doesn't. It's not in the same spot where the guards walk. <laughs> no, no, no. We brought it. We brought it with us, like right next to town. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave it next to the stable. I don't okay, think are you you're going, going to the fighting pepper? I do. If that's what it was called, then yes. <laughs> the wrestling pepper. That's what it was. Yeah, I want to go. Yeah. Expect to be there. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I have a question. Uh-huh. <laughs> Would I have noticed that is the Were there people thing watching the audience? Uh, I believe that you made a perception check I, to I see did. if, and ev- I think everybody was watching that. Yeah, everybody's attention was on the fight. I was, I was looking because you guys were like watching the fight, and I was like, anybody like looking at us? Anybody like doing some shady shit while the fight's going on? It's so, worth noting, I am still dressed as I did when we went in the first time, like a okay. polar person. Got it. Because I don't want it to also be like, well, now I'm, no, I was Osiris the whole time. This is my off day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But your bodyguard's gone now. So the five of you go to the fight club. <laughs> I feel like Will and I are, are, are and we, 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 we over, semantics of leaving a over truly behind. weather. I was, like, I was like, in old westerns, they would just tie their horse up to something and nobody would steal it. But then... What my response was about to be is that he said well, that's because like horse thievery was what by death punishable by death. Punishable by death. Yeah. I think also we would we if have you steal killed ass, you lose your ass. people yeah over less and so I think that we would kill someone over stealing <laughs> clot. I'm just being honest. We're not leaving. We would absolutely. It's kill just the cart that we're no, leaving. Just the cart. Why are we? Le- why don't we leave don't the fucking we cart? I think, near I think the we donkey. beat someone that's up. That's what we just. That's said. what they just did. That's what we did. Yeah. yeah. Will Will and I were just uh, arguing I the whole time. About I want us guys. all to leave the pepper. <laughs> we're not fighting. All right, guys. I've walked into the pub. <laughs> okay. So the five of you make your way through the streets of Grixton, uh, or sorry, the streets of Brigitte, and the between the three of you, you're able to remember exactly how to get to the wrestling pepper. Uh, it is. Still pretty early in the day, but oh. even walking in, you see the the place is pretty packed. There's many uh, many a different shape of person here. Like early in the day, like midday, or like are we getting closer to sunset? It's like 11 a.m. Oh my gosh! We we literally handed off these kids and walked there straight into no town. To There's yeah. nothing to. Do. <laughs> we go and fight. Yeah, no let's go fight. Jobs. You are all in New Orleans. Happening, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's where this place first, is. Yep. And then we're <laughs> no off street parking. Nope. Let's see, yeah, so gotta leave your car outside the city. I'm not, I'm not this port town, I got it. shitty roads. 
Yeah. Dude, totally. <laughs> just literally <laughs> built it out of New Orleans. Okay, anyway. Um, We'd like to find the person that books the fights. Uh, so, Rin can point you over to Jostrog, who's behind the counter. Have you done this already, Rin? Well, I was here. I just scoped it out for you. <gasps> oh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't know. You know, we don't know where you're from. As uh, as you look over towards we the counter, Rin, make you. a make a perception check. I wander off for a second to surround. Okay. Do I see him wander off? Seventeen. He's not trying to hide. I'm not, I'm not hiding. Seventeen. Okay. What the fuck is your um, problem? You were sneaking. I was you were so paranoid. <laughs> 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 yes, Taffy is very paranoid. Can I not just look? I just had wings spread out of my back, bro. That's not my fault. I'm paranoid, and you lost your accent, and then it came back. It's not my fault. Dude, that's a oh, that was a specific thing you decided on fault. Yeah, I still want to know what it anyway, is. Anyway, um, you see Josh Strug behind the bar. He knows he's you as well. He says, "Hey, the big winner." Yeah. Oh no, it, it, you were disguised. That's right. So you notice Josh Strug behind the bar, uh, as well as Hegref, uh, the winner of last night, who is living his best life. Uh, At eleven a.m. With Oof. as far as you can see, um, he's got a chip on his shoulder, and uh, the the nervous uh, man in the ring who faced off against Pepper last night is nowhere to be found. Um, there are a couple other people sitting at the bar, in particular another dwarf and um, a half orc who's kind of swilling over a drink, his head's down. All um. I'll walk up to the to the bar and say, "Is this the um, is this the place where the fights happen?" Ah, you've come to the right place, but uh, here a bit early. <laughs> they usually happen a bit later. <laughs> Feel free to have a drink while you wait. What do you have? Well, uh, we've got a bit of uh, fire Air water, <laughs> if you'd like that, or some uh, some ale. I, it's my own brew. I take a great deal of pride in it. Yeah, why don't you give me a Give me five. Five ales. Yeah. Coming up. That'll be. Uh, he drinks all five. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll cut you a deal and say three gold like since you're ordering yeah. so many. Fair enough. It's the early bird discount. <laughs> uh, you can't this start. gives me vibes of like it's your last day and you were scheduled to fly out at 11 but it got cancelled and pushed to 3 so now you have to do weird stuff in the airport yeah. yeah like and you're like oh I'm just here for the next 8 hours of my he, life uh, he walks over to a barrel pulls the yeah, tap and has 5 uh, mugs in hand just swings them across and they're all filled he closed the tap and slams them back on the counter skills. do not fuck with him very nice that was cool so the uh, the most recent winner is I'm assuming Pepper right Pepper's the I'm saying well, this in earshot of the dude who won me 200 gold last night. Well, you know, and then Hegref <laughs> tried, no, it's me. Pepper <laughs> 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 didn't stand a chance. Yeah? Oh, I might wreck this place. And Josh Strong kind of points a fingers. Yeah. Be careful. I, love I might see out of this place for here. good. <laughs> and Hegref, um... <laughs> Kind of stifles his laughter, but he says, I wouldn't make another mess here, but uh, good times were had. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... So, do, how, how does it work? Do people do people yeah. challenge you, or do you... Well, they can if they want to lose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I love when Alex makes himself giggle. So you're the, you're the defending champion, then? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Does but, it, uh, you know, today's my day off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't understand. So, you're actually not fighting today? Probably not. Well, <laughs> not unless you piss me off. Nice. <laughs> Just kidding. We're friends. I can tell. You We're and I? Friends. <laughs> I appreciate that. Very drunk thing to say. Just kidding. We're friends. <laughs> 11 cool. a.m. 11 a.m. It's a very... So is it is it by challenge or like how do you set up the fights per night? I mean, I, w- I would assume that if you're the winner, you know, if you're the grand champion and you know beat the shit out of everybody here. Well, I mean, in, in true fashion, most nights this place is where you come to to uh, 
settle your wrongdoings, those you've hurt, those who have been hurt by you, or, you know, they, they come here and uh, they duke it out, and whoever wins is right, basically. Jacob, oh my okay. god. Okay. <laughs> I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got some friends right who might be, uh, who might be interested in a, in a bout. Okay. For some money, though. Oh, money match. Well, uh, I mean, basically the way you're, you're going to want to make sure you place your bets in, in, in the house. They take, you know, a small portion off the top. They house the fights. Yeah. My friend over there and <clears throat> you're, I'm assuming somewhere. I, I would be close. Yeah. No my friend here, close. uh, told us that he and his bodyguard in, ended up uh, making some money off of you last sure. night, actually. <laughs> you bet on me, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't you knew better. Else. I didn't bet on you. But. Well, he looks at, he looks yeah. at him. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bet either. Yeah, my friend did. Your friend's got a keen eye. He does. Sadly, he had to. He had to. He head on back. leans his arm up and kisses his his bicep, but he spills a little bit of his drink in the process. In his lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what time? What time? <laughs> Cheryl says. Cheryl says. Uh, Cheryl says probably a good thing you're not fighting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be at the, the top of my form, but I, I could take just about anybody any day. I'm sure you could. So what time do things get rowdy around here? Really any time you like, but usually a little bit later in the evening, uh, after the sun goes down at the very least. What uh, What's there to do around here other than beat the shit out of each other in this bar? Uh, well, there's lots of stuff. There's another bar where you can uh, beat the shit out of You see, you <laughs> see, before, yeah, before 6 p.m. <laughs> like, morning. oh yeah, that's us. <laughs> that's the daytime fight. Bro. You see, he's, time crowd. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to answer your question. Make an insight check. This is all he does. (laughs) (laughs) Here at 11 a.m. 20. Natural 20. Oh, no. (laughs) He wants to answer your question, but uh, anytime he's in, Brigitte. He's in here. He's in here. (laughs) He works at the gym. He hangs out at the gym. (laughs) He lives above the gym. gym. (laughs) (laughs) He gets his food delivered to the gym. Yeah. Oh, no. As uh, as he's like fumbling over his word, uh, words, Jostrog <laughs> jumps in. And he says, "All right, hey Graf, just drink your ale and let uh, let the strangers go. What uh, what you're looking to do? I can maybe I can help you out. Point you in the right direction. I uh, I actually at this time slowly mose, mosey back in and I go, okay, everyone, and I hand everyone a piece of paper and I go, um, Got you I each got you tickets." To the fight tonight, some guy um, pulled me aside and told me that we needed tickets for it, so I got everyone tickets. You don't have to buy um, the. They were two <clears throat> gold apiece, um, so you know, this might give to you. But uh, so everybody has admitted. Sorry, Norton, thank you. Do we you. give this to you now or later? I can, I can take it now. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, you'll just know me then, I guess. I've got a keen eye. All right, thank you. Please forget him later. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we, we, can hear, we can hear it sit down. He goes, why is no one else giving you their tickets? <laughs> <laughs> they all turn theirs in early, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. So I uh, couldn't help, help it over here. You might uh, be interested in fighting yourself tonight. No, absolutely not. I'm not much of the... Um, I'm not much of that kind of fight. Um, my friend over here. Charles going to step out of the way <laughs> of... <laughs> Back scratch off. I'm just going to be like doing something like very... I'm not intimidating at all. I'm maybe even like, yeah, like... <laughs> my friend yeah. over here is... Uh, <laughs> enjoys oh, yeah, enjoys <laughs> I love fighting. Well, it's maybe... Weird. Uh, it's just weird. You see the gears turning in Josh Strog's head. He just... But without saying anything, he turns uh, to the the large open bar and starts shouting. He says, tonight, don't miss it. We're going to have a battle of the ladies between Peppa and... What? What's your name? <laughs> Please yell that. You're never going to believe it. Her name is Peppa. <laughs> Peppa. What? Battle of the Peppers. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> you, you hear like it's a couple Pepper of people in the Pepper. back are like, woo! And then like most Pepper. most of the crowd is just. <laughs> All right, 
You're on the books. Perfect. That Thank you so much. That was easier than having me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to get her in? Mine, yeah. mine, mine is spelled a little bit different. It has a, uh, it has a little dot ab- above the second E. Peeper? Uh, what? Pepper. Pe- peeper. <laughs> peeper. Pepper and peeper. <laughs> peeper. <laughs> no, that's not my name. <laughs> Bam. Cheryl, Cheryl's laughing. Cheryl, Cheryl found that really funny. <laughs> It's a rare Sorry, sight you that said Cheryl's the, laughing. Uh, the second E. Pepper, yes. Pepper. Yes. Pepper. 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 That's rather Ooh, fun papier. to say. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be looking forward to is this guy the fight cute, tonight. Hmm? Is this guy cute? He's a cute dwarf. I mean, about as cute as he can be. Dwarfs have very long beards. I said he doesn't like them. Got it. Yeah. Everyone in the Why, campaign. Uh, you gave yeah, me a everyone, weird look. Everyone in the campaign except for Cheryl has a beard. And he's got a trunk, which is kind of like a beard. I don't look. have a beard. His trunk has a beard. Well, yeah, you do. <gasps> <laughs> what if you look down? What if you look down at your, no, your character like and she had a beard now? <laughs> like the mini head of painted beard. Look again. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I so wish that were a thing. You oh, can get shit. a beard with the belt of dwarven kind. Belt of dwarven kind. He gives you a beard. Did he say what time we have to be back here yeah. for the fight? Sundown. He didn't. Sundown. I know they, the guy said that the fight started sundown, but I don't know. He overhears you asking, he says, uh, as long as it's after the sun's down, you show up, that's when it happens. Pepper's always here, so. Season yeah, up. she is. Yeah, you fucking yeah. Pepper. Whoop, whoop. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant me. I'm, I'm always here, too, <coughs> since I've been here. Since I've been here, I'm always here. Have it. So where where would you suggest we kind of <laughs> spend our time in the meantime? We're new. And where would you suggest we bet against our friend here? You gonna bet against me? No, yeah, of course. You're definitely <laughs> gonna lose that money. Absolutely gonna bet against you. Um, well, if uh, none of you are getting you want a drink, of course money. we're always here. But if you're if you're interested in some food, you could go. Uh, the there's a lovely place down the road. Uh, Is called it included in the ticket? <laughs> it isn't, uh, actually. That's quite a steep price for no meal, I have to say. Yeah, well, we put on quite a show. <laughs> no, couldn't be me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Highly doubted. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Highly doubted. <laughs> was there no- <laughs> I was a surgeon. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you're interested in getting uh, any of your uh, weapons sharpened or... Perhaps purchasing some new ones. There's uh, Tested Metal. That's the blacksmith in town. And, um... Of course... Uh... Can't say I do, but... Maybe, uh... Maybe... So check out the, the Strand Market. Okay. Is that where we came in at? You can always find some sort of odd... Yeah. Trinkets there. Good Just know. watch your back and your corn purse. It's like that market that we went to New Orleans town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Why the French market. Why did I get you so fast? <laughs> <laughs> you said corn purse. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Watch, it. Oh, Watch that corn, corn, purse. corn Watch your corn purse. This is not the first time that that's <laughs> yeah, happened. That's the second time. <laughs> this game is centered around a corn. Because her British accent made it sound like compost. <laughs> 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 Mind your also, compost. Also, <laughs> Mind your corn <laughs> hole. No, stop. No, stop, stop. 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 No. Because every time stop. she says it in a British accent, stop. it sounds. Yeah, horrible. no, stop. I wasn't saying no. it. I yeah, I know. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, it's like corn first. Corn we're all first. like, nope, nope. And we're back. <laughs> For your but you may also, uh, you before <laughs> before leaving town, you may want to check out, uh, what's the name of that place? It's right next to the Curly Gnome in. Uh, the Curly Definitely right want to go there. <laughs> oh, hey, Lord. The Curly Gnome. <laughs> the Telling Tome. Telling Tom. Right next Dating. to the curly gnome. Dating Tom. Is, is that like a <laughs> is that like a library? Books. 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 I love books. I immediately zero in. I would love books. <laughs> books for the books. Where did you say? The Telling Tom. Tom. Where? Next to the curly gnome. Oh my gosh. I'm he gives go you directions. My book more published. <laughs> there. <gasps> Your children's book. My children's book. You have to read it to us. I'll read it right now. As okay. a ticket holder, do we get any special discounts around the shops <laughs> in this area? Oh my God. Charles is going to put his, his head, if you still have the ticket, and be like, buddy, no. He, he sighs, he sighs, and he says, um, 
You'll have to take that up with uh, each business owner, of course. Got it it right. depends on if they want to they want to partake. I see, I see. I see, I see. I didn't do anything. Hey, thanks, Jude. You're welcome. Anywho, got uh, people to get drinks for. You see, uh, Hegref is kind of pounding his drink on the counter. More! <laughs> so he goes and he, <laughs> he gets him another drink. Um, Rin, out of the corner of your eye, you notice... The black whichever one is facing the half-orc nearest to him. You, you notice him get up from his seat uh, and begin to walk over. Um, he moves towards a table near the door. Um, Do I recognize he, him from last time? As he passes, uh, make a uh, make an insight check. It's you. Your, your disguise is now of a life of their own. <laughs> Doesn't look like he was here last night. Um, but something definitely... You're drawn to him a bit. Ooh. And Baby! Your he got an M of magnetism. <laughs> say, say that again, sorry. I was hearing what Will was saying. Your attention is drawn to him. Yeah. yeah. His eyes are glowing. <laughs> there's, there's purple smoke so out of his you're you're missing eyes in his forehead so should we missing eyes. His forehead. should we um should we hit up the the tome or the market well i mean i would love to look at books if we have the chance okay, let's go check that yeah. out okay i think i'm gonna try to get my book published we'll get directions and then head that way does he have a drink at his table uh he carried the small drink that he was Kind of tasting. I'm gonna bump into him, knock his drink over. I am so sorry. Make a uh, make a sleight of hand check. It's easy enough to bump into somebody, but I want to see how believable you make it. Eleven. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Says sorry before he even slaps it out of his hand. He uh, Plays pulls me. back his drink in size. I'm sorry about that. As you make eye contact with him, you notice one of his eyes is blacked out. Oh shit! Who's this? Some guy. We didn't, noti- we didn't notice. We didn't notice him. His we, new just, we, we just know that he. Oh. Do we notice the black dot eye too, or no? When he's together, they make now. two eyes. Probably easy enough for you to see. Though up to this point, he's been keeping his head down. Yeah. Can we get you another drink. You can get me a bit more than that. Hey. Oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> You want to talk about this here? <laughs> he or do you want to your room in the curly no man? <laughs> he begins Morgan. to speak in Thieves' Cant as he uh, tells you what he normally gets for his drink. Uh, it just sounds like an over-the-top, super complicated firewater. <laughs> they're talking, they're talking uh, thieves. But he says... Uh, I have a mutual acquaintance that would see... Uh, my boat uh, freed from the sun touched that hold it at the docks it would also see you and your friends along for a ride to Raddenport are we heading to Raddenport? I don't know I gotta look at the map I gotta look at the map we are now it can be I mean sort of on the way I gotta look at the map Raddenport is Grixton. It's one of the islands. Yeah, it's okay. one of the islands. I think we were. So we're heading towards. Grixton. We were gonna. We were gonna pass through that town on the border, which is my hometown, or oh. we were gonna go to Raddenport. I'm sure I wouldn't carry the way, to be honest. <clears throat> What's her name? Your ship. The Wyvern. Mm. <laughs> I, like, I was about to say that's a cool name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually really like that. I'll go pick up another drink and then on the way back say, um Am I with you right now? I just bumped into this guy on the way out. Yeah, on our way out. So we were all kinda right there. 
but and then I'll I'll it. drop off I'll drop off the drink that he told me to get him, and just tell him um, let's discuss a little more where there are less ears around. As he kind of thanks you for the drink, takes a sip, and kind of comments again in thieves can't on uh, the the notes and hints of flavor that he likes so so much um he says uh fair enough it's not exactly like you can say no i'll be here you know everywhere we go we don't we don't hear anything that was all ren always talks to someone about beer (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I was like, before he you knows a lot oh about beer. Knows a lot. <laughs> Ren knows a lot about beer. Um, <laughs> I'll just mention to him, like, in, do you want to know the ticket? You know, <laughs> so, again, sorry for spelling. This is a small business for yeah. But um, work and improve something. About an hour or so. Meet me outside. Meet him he outside. Nods. Meet him outside. Meet him. Meet him outside. Son, okay. don't call me son. So we, we're making our way to the tome place? Making our way to the tome? Yeah. Walking you, you, you guys want to go to the bookstore? Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like so <laughs> as the five of you move following the directions that uh, uh, Josh Drog has given you, um, Sarnorn, I'd, I would imagine that you're leading the pack. I'll have you make a survival check. To see how well you can navigate the city based on the directions. Uh, New Orleans, yo. Oh, that's a natty 20. <gasps> Very nice. Oh boy. You have a plus when it one comes from here? <laughs> when, it, <laughs> when it comes to books, you are like <laughs> so hyper focused. You, <laughs> you actually find a shortcut in the directions. You get there a bit faster. Uh, and as you round. Dude, that's so good when you beat Siri. <laughs> As yes. you round a corner, uh, ducking under uh, a support beam that holds up a piece of uh, uh, structure that that a balcony of sorts that hangs above the road, um, you see a uh, building with uh, a odd roof line that sort of slopes into a point, uh, and on the ends it does actually curl. Uh, you're not sure how it got the shingles to do that, but um, mm. maybe there's a book about it. There's there's. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. There's a small <laughs> What? What's that? <laughs> there's a small sign that reads the curly gnome and uh, on the side of it there's a uh, small square add-on uh, with another sign that says the ta- the telling tome. Ah, I see. Here it is. Before we go in, um I have to say I'm a little offended. Why? You all left your tickets at the bar. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get into this fight later if you keep leaving things around. Okay, I don't mind paying for it, but honestly, this is. I'm gonna let you know. Happy's laughing. I'm gonna let you know. We didn't have to pay when we went last time. No one had tickets. Oh. I'm sorry, bud. Listen, you might have gone on a special night. I don't know what to tell you. M- maybe but we so. We have tickets now. Thank you. Use I, them. I, well, I apologize. Well, Lee, Thank I appreciate you, you I taking the initiative. It says right on here. Sorry. You need it to get in. Thank sure. you very much. Put Your it in his pocket. Right now, let's go in this bookstore, <laughs> and I will cast detect magic on myself <clears throat> as we walk in. On yourself? Okay. It's it. It's a radius. It's a radius. I was like, you're magic. <laughs> oh, I'm magic. Whoa! <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> around yourself. Not only does he not know that we don't need tickets, but he also became a dumb caster. <laughs> oh yes. I yes. Am magic. What happened to you out there? <laughs> glowing. I'm glowing. Uh, as you wander into the store, uh, and my hat. And a my small bell on a curly uh, sort of uh, no spring-loaded talent. chime rings, um, and you see the counter on the side, uh, on your right side, um, a small gnome, basically, like you hear the pitter-patter of feet, and then she pops up and sits on a stool and looks out at all of you. Hello! Hi! Say your full name. Welcome, welcome to the... The telling tome. I thought what? this was the curly gnome. No, that's the end. Next. Well, that's. Are you, you guys related? It, it's me. You you want to come around the other side? No, I wanted to be at the turly the te- this place. <laughs> <laughs> the turly this place. Well, good news, you're here. Great. <laughs> the this place. That's great. 
<laughs> what? Get excited to see another gnome. <laughs> <laughs> what can I help you all with? Ooh, so Norn has advantage. She making it seem like she Thanks works for here? the bed, city guard. Hey. She's behind the counter. You said she. She. Yes, we are. No, he yeah, and I haven't stopped know, looking at all the books on the shelves since I walked in. She didn't know where she was at until she read it. We're looking for... It's all connected. Oh, okay. It's all connected. Anything... Supernatural related, magic related, something. Well, I'm looking for something rare and interesting books. I'm looking for something about history. Personally. He's boring. I'm um, looking for erotica. Well, He's we. Um, I'm looking to get my my book published. You're in the wrong place. Well, that's helpful. Thank you. <laughs> You're Let's welcome. Narrow it down. Um, I can help. We don't have a, <laughs> an extensive oh. collection, but I'm pretty proud of what we do have. And as she's speaking, she's you actually proud. notice like a few uh, <gasps> faint glimmers uh, coming from the various bookshelves. Um, she's like, as a matter of fact, um, I'm not sure what all I have here. Um, all what? manner of fiction, lots of, uh, what are you, the single yeah. leaflets? Um, Spells? Uh, scrolls. Scrolls. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a look? Sure. Help I'm yourself. Gonna scrolls too. I'm going to just pull everything that's hidden. Okay. Is there um, any kind of organization I'm gonna just, to I'm it? I'm going to read it everything like, with just, you. Is it's it just like shit from the... He's taking it off no, no. the shelf. Well, it is he's not, taking all the glowing stuff. It is, not, it is okay, not organized. Like, make a... Uh, Make an investigation check to see so, if you yeah, can no, find no, something you're looking for. That, like, you know, if you grab like maybe like two books, like I'll look at one too. That's ten. Okay, you know, I got a plus bit, zero. <laughs> so, do you want me to tell you every and scroll that's in there? Yeah. And book. <laughs> and book. So yeah. That is magic. Every okay. book. And uh, uh, I as far as scrolls, there is a scroll of charm person, a scroll of dissonant whispers, a scroll of dream, a scroll of eldritch blast, a scroll of ensnaring strike, scroll of guiding bolt. Scroll of Magic Circle, Scroll of Mirror Image, and Scroll of Rope Trick. All those are nice. There are lots. You need somebody nine or something. <clears throat> I rolled That's a ten. So cool. uh, with a ten, you're able to find a small book that uh, goes over a brief history of um, Grixton. How the island's government's work and how they came to be. So shit I probably already know. It's mostly things you already know. <laughs> okay. That's fair. I, know, I was just, yeah, I was just, okay. What were you expecting to find? I was, he was just a general history of the area, I, whether it's this town, Grixton, wherever, okay. just nothing in particular. No magical books. Uh, no magical books. Fantastic just scrolls. Somewhere to find them. I just hold some of them up and say, how much do you charge per scroll? Um, just generally, I, I I know it's different for each one, and I'll, I'd like to look at each one before I buy, but or before I sell. Um, hundred gold for the 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 regular ones, and and maybe maybe one fifty for the better ones. Okay. But the I whole lot for for seven hundred. Yeah. She's got two thousand. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do that, but. They're not all keepers. Yeah. <laughs> you hear a bell ding from the uh, the other side, and she dashes off of the stool and jumps up to what you now see is basically a uh, a big rectangular counter that is what's well, situated in the center of uh, the wall, so that she can be at the front counter yeah. for each business. Is it like is it like yes. those like touristy stores that? It's two different stores, but there's like no wall between them. You or, or can we not yeah. walk between? You can't the walk desk. between okay, them. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Try and stop us. <laughs> I do have melted to stone. Are the walls stone? <laughs> Did you know that every time you hit your hand on the table, there is a like something to the nth power chance, like a ridiculously low chance that every atom in your hand misses the atoms in the table, and your hand goes you through, it. through it. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Touching chance. things is just your atoms resisting the atoms of something else. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. So I there's a chance if you try, you what could phase through the wall. Though, in the you might just. Conversation where Alex said that it was out of nowhere, right? It well, no, because well, we, we, we said we, we said we could go through the wall. wall. Phasing through the wall. Okay. Yeah. I it was I wasn't getting that, but I was like, 
I was like, the, y'all, what does this mean? Happened to Alex. Yeah. It was yeah. Alex is drunk. Random yeah. <laughs> 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 fact. And all of us think it's cool, but Alex is having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I see smells. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're overcooking Boy. your toast. <laughs> How much full? And I'll hold up Yummy. Dream and Eldritch Blast. What were the other ones? I'm sorry. I can I can send you a yeah, list. That would be great. Cheryl yeah. would read the book for what it's worth because it has been a while since he's been to Rixon just to kind of fresh, refresh his memory. Maybe make some history DC checks lower in the future. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I'm going to screenshot him and send him to you. Okay. Do you, Do you have any... Send him to me and I'll send him to Will. <laughs> <laughs> Sending them to Will. Mm. Yeah. Technology. No magic. What? No magic. I'm gonna just send them in the group. No match. That's what it's they call probably the best thing to do. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what is Muggle? <laughs> A made up word. <laughs> is uh? Is there? You said you were looking for for something, right? Yeah. Erotica. <laughs> yeah. He said I did erotica. say erotica. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, make an investigation check. Oh, oh. Um, I want to look for is 40. some books too, Alex, <laughs> and ask for them. What is it? Investigation? Mm-hmm. Investigation. 25. You find a very um, distinguished tome uh, with silver inlays. <laughs> uh, the title across the front and down the binding reads... Uh, the Twilight Changeling. <gasps> Can you read me an excerpt from it? I cannot. Twilight <laughs> Changeling. <laughs> I will not. And it is a lot of damage. The Twilight <laughs> Changeling. <laughs> we gotta get it. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Big Brother. Stop it! <laughs> Don't start it! <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Edward Cullen? <laughs> I can't. Uh, it's Elric? <laughs> yeah. Elric. Cullen is a vampire? Um, yeah, that's what she said. That the book can y- Twilight. can oh, a I'm wizard sorry, copy... Uh, cantrips into a book? Uh, I think you have to write them from a, s- a book. I don't think you can write them from scrolls. I thought you could copy no, scrolls. yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You can copy scrolls, but then that scroll is now ineffective. So, it, so, so he can copy the scroll into his book, but now that magic goes from the scroll, scroll to the book, to the and book. it costs money and time. Yeah, yeah, that's it right. Costs a, that's it's right. Very specific paper and ink, and, and you all can that. still only have a certain amount prepared. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. But can you do that with cantrips? I know you can do it with leveled spells. He's he's trying to see if he can oh, up his cantrip. Yeah, if I take yeah I don't see why not. As long as well, I think it still needs to be on the wizard spell list, right? I, I have no I idea. So. I've never played. I'm a pizza pretty sure it does. Can you no find a wizard spell of first level or higher? You can add it to your spell book. So it has. It, it can't do cantrips. Yeah. It also has to be a wizard spell. And if you have, spare which is a lot, time, but if you can free the time to copy and decipher. Copying that spell into your spell book involves reproducing the basic form of the spell, then deciphering the unique system of notation used by the wizard who wrote it. You must practice the spell until you understand the sounds or gesture required, then transcribe it into your spell book using your own notation. For each level of the spell, the process takes two hours and costs 50 gold pieces. The did, cost represents material components you expend, blah, 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 blah. Did, uh, did you see that you got advantage from City Guard? I don't know why I'm just seeing that. Yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Thanks so City Guard. Yeah. Hey, City Guard. <coughs> Thanks. Okay, so. Thanks, bud. That changes things a little bit. Um, Alex, I would like to look for books, too, whenever you are ready. Yeah, or sure. What are, you, what are you looking for? Um, Because oh. he is preoccupied, I do not know. And I think, and I'm not sure if even he would know. So, um, he told our away there are no magical books, mm-hmm. but I don't know if there are, I want to ask the books. person, um, yeah, if there are any <laughs> books that have anything to where, you know, like if you read the whole book through, you'll, get a bigger you'll yeah. boost your intelligence yeah, or something. Yeah, become penis, better at I guess, things. So Sam said it. Sam um, it. make an investigation check. Oh no, I should have decided which dice I'm going to use though. 
Um. Oh, that was not me. No, I'm not twenty. That's Chris yawning at the. Sure. It sounded like a toot. <laughs> I know Fritz, that was Fritz. You find... <laughs> we both were like, is that you? <laughs> you find a book that uh, appears to detail uh, the understanding of the self. Understanding of the self. Um, no, I'll admit it. Just kind of flipping I'll through its it. pages, it, it seems to be a bit of a guide towards uh, being more in touch with your innate wants and uh and and not necessarily giving in to um what your mind wants but what your, your heart, heart wants. wants i'm gonna get heart wants book. what the heart wants okay does it have a price anywhere on it or do you need to go ask for that price it is forty dollars a lot of money no, i don't know Four fifty, gold. For what is this? What is this for? I don't know. Something. What does it do? <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna Easy make book. me um, more comfortable with what my heart decides, rather than what my head decides. That means you're not gonna fight if you read this book. <laughs> I don't know about that. You better at snap decisions. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, uh, I'm gonna pick it up and like walk around with uh, Sarnorin. Okay. And maybe whenever we're ready, we will either do like a group thing and try to like, haggle it down. Was there actually anything? Um, I don't know what the context <laughs> would be. What I had to move the mic. I don't know what the context would be, but something <laughs> related to the like the broker or stuff like that. Like um, a religious texts or something along those lines. That's actually what I'll be looking for. I did stumble across the with, Rebecca, but with your uh, pretty high roll, you don't find anything detailing the broker. Um, but while you're at it, you do find some tomes uh, telling of uh, the thieves of the sea and those who. Uh, Many of which call their home uh, Radenport. Whoa, we're right there. Oh my God, now, Theo like told us she was Radenport. heading somewhere. Was it Radenport? Uh, no, she said that they were making their way towards uh, Sadenport. Grotul, I think. <laughs> I knew Madenport. it was one of the islands. I just Madenport. didn't know which one. Okay. That was close. Okay. Job, that was at well, least a day well, ago. Well, because if the broker wants us to go to Radenport, I was wondering if it had to do with Theo. But I don't know that. That was a me. That yeah, a yeah, me that's question. a Sam Cheryl wondering. So what are we doing, guys? I ask about... Uh, How long has it been? Uh, probably about 15 minutes from the time you left. <laughs> Dream. <laughs> this is just like... I hold up dream, mirror image, and rope trick and ask how much. Three dollars. A tree fitty. It creates an extra dimensional space that we can go hide in for an hour. It's pretty cool. Dupe. 300 gold. What do I smell? Is that a whole lot? Sorry. Yeah. Alcohol y. Sorry. Dream's a pretty good one. Like Dream's great. Can't just let that go. I understand. So. And how much for this book? I don't have that. Four fifty. Four fifty. It's it's a real page turner. What if we? Can I we... insight check when she says that? Sure. What the price? No, the page turner thing. Oh Jesus! These dice hate me. Um, I mean, it's still it's still a seventeen because I have a plus eleven. <laughs> you uh, you believe what she says? At, face value but it seems like uh, she's trying to hint at something greater that the book is not just words I just basically want to know if she's like being nefarious is with, with the insight like doesn't she, seem if like it if she's like <laughs> after she said it <laughs> do you need to buy anything Cheryl? Cheryl Cheryl's just been thumbing through the history book 
Are you here? while you guys are looking. You're here, right? Do you need to buy anything? Nope. No. Um. All right. If we could put the two of us together, though, could you leave? Um. Could we leave here with paying six hundred? For the make a persuasion check. All right. We will try. What? Let me check. I farted earlier. It's a fog machine. At least it's clean. My boots. Clean, clean fog machine. 16 total, Alex. Clean, clean fog machine. Clean, clean fog machine. How? I, I'll cut you a deal. I maybe 700. Six fifty. Six seventy five. Six seventy five. I think. I think. I think we could do six seventy five between us. I'd be happy to let it go. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So um, Mike is paying six seventy five. I understand. <laughs> I, understand. <laughs> I, I have ten platinum. I understand so what's, have what's happening. Don't worry. <laughs> Well, she's been, she's that. kind of been holding on to the group gold. Like, yeah. The only reason I had a lot is because the the priest gave me that money to I get the kids. I won two hundred gold last night. Six hundred seventy five gold. Yep. Okay. I'm about to win two hundred more. Oh, dude, Cheryl's, Cheryl's totally betting on Arsene away tonight. He didn't want to bet last time, but... Bro, I put up 20 gold, made 200. Yeah. You just gotta... When you... Meh. Anybody... <coughs> <coughs> Meh, put 20 I'm gold in the 1,000s now. Bro. Man, it's just easy, yeah? Meh, bro. Meh, bro. Now, put that shit up. It all came Meh, back. Paya! Come <laughs> <sal. laughs> I went. I went from 1,500 at the start of the see. session to uh, 450. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm back down in the thousands. <laughs> I like it. So, uh... <laughs> well, while you're all here, um, if you're interested, I can get you a room next door. I don't know if you're planning on staying, uh, staying a couple days. We have somewhere to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I understand. We'll, but thanks for we'll letting us know. It, mm-hmm. Sure. Well, be back around. you're always welky, wel- welcome. Wel- you're always Thank welcome you. at the Curly Gnome or the Telling Tome. Uh, Thank you. Both doors are always open. Just. You know, maybe at different times. Different, sometimes. yeah. Sometimes different times in different places. Yeah, yeah. That's different times. All right, so where should we go eat? Ah. Oh. Sorry, it's Fritz. It's Fritz. No, he came and he licked me, so it was <laughs> terrifying because it was like, I don't. I was like, oh my gosh. Like what? Like a Yoshi. <laughs> Sorry, podcast listeners. <laughs> Mention podcast I'm listeners. Not. Everyone does it again. <laughs> 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 You speak in thieves kind of way. There's a dachshund on screen, so. Ooh. We love wieners. Lucy. We so, you what you guys doing? <laughs> I mean, it's a, go try to you said we have something minutes. else to do, and Cheryl has no idea what that is. I'm where? So he's like, what are we doing? Good places to be. Now? Tonight. Tonight? All right. The fight, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. What are you talking about? For which we have tickets. Yeah, the tickets. We do have tickets. Are we staying Thank here you. tonight, though? I mean, we could no. just get a room. We oh. We'll come back if we need to. Did, what um, are you talking about, Ren? Cheryl's going to, like, scratch his eye and say, did um, she talk to somebody? No. I'm going to inside check Ren. <laughs> just yeah, Cheryl will inside check that. <laughs> are you saying no? Well, and you're he being just like, told, oh, he's trying to weird. shut up. And so I was like, you know what? a lot about beer. <laughs> Are we still with this lady? No, we won't. I got a, un- I got a dirty 20. Yeah, you guys are leaving. D- on your no. I have a less than dirty 20 by a lot. Less than dirty 20. By a lot. 16? 12. <laughs> yeah, 16. So? Yeah, I'm definitely lying. <laughs> <laughs> he just I- wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> For continuity. <laughs> Rack off. Yeah, he's not going to call you out on it right now, but okay. Well, do we want to go to the market then? Sure. Okay. Okay. It's easy enough to make your way back out of town. Uh, and as the sun in the back, hits right? a high point in the sky, um, the moisture of the, of the, the sea and uh, the, the, the relative humidity in the area kicks up to a high point um, oh. as uh, it feels like uh, a, a warm breeze is blowing that moisture uh, from the dock uh, area below the city up into uh, the area where you're walking through. 
Um, as you walk through the, the opening at the gate, um, you see the strand market off to the right, and uh, the, uh, the humidity dissipates a bit as uh, you hear the lapping of waves and the, uh, the speaking of, of uh, merchants and uh, customers alike. Is our cart still there? Because the stable's out Dude. here too, right? The cart is still there. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just curious. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Stop, Sam. So, as you all approach the Strand Market, Cheryl's gonna like keep a hand on his coin purse at all times, because he was told, "Watch out for your corn purse." <laughs> that is true. You see. Uh, a lively scene. Um, all manner of half uh, half falling apart stalls uh, with uh, bits of uh, cloth overhanging the top. Uh, a small ship is docked at the uh, the the makeshift port. Uh, as people load crates off, some of them are dropping them onto um, uh, countertops right away. Um, there's even a small. Uh, sign hanging from one of the stalls that says uh, from ship to shore what would you like to do is there anything you're looking for in particular I would like to see if there's a bit of it would have been about 30 40 minutes at this point okay Cheryl's going with <laughs> you notice Cheryl is coming with you are you do anything you're just gonna you're fine with that I'll, um, not that you should do anything I'm just confirming I'll cut like hard like make like two hard cuts or something like that and Cheryl's been close to you because he you, he, he did not believe your no <laughs> so yeah, the so minute, I'll, I'll, I'll like try to I'll try to lose Cheryl for a second okay. the minute the minute you make like a hard cut he's gonna say so you don't have anyone no one talk to you about anything are you gonna ignore that, or are you gonna just <laughs> you gonna answer? Oh God. I was freaking good <laughs> trying to get him to stop. What do you want, Cheryl? <laughs> Thought we were gonna be honest about stuff. I'll be honest when I know something. Could have said yes. Could have. Didn't. So this guy just wants to talk. Oh, he's gonna say your guy because he doesn't know that you're going to see a person. As far as I know. <laughs> and I said, I said no, so that we wouldn't alert the fucking gnome innkeeper we that we had some inside. shit going on. We were literally leaving as it was going on. I just asked, I just asked if someone told I'm you just something. Reminding you. You I know. could have said yes. That was a I, very innocuous question. It was. But sometimes innocuous questions cause problems. I have no problem telling you what you want to know. We're going to Rattenport. Or if okay. I'm going, I'm going to Rattenport. You're welcome to come. Um, someone. The islands are where the fighting's happening, right? That we know of, or is, um, or they've retreated to the islands and the fighting's happening on the mainland. I knew the, the fighting. Were... The fighting is happening at in the islands, basically. In the islands. You know that uh, the two uh, westernmost islands have reportedly fallen and no longer uh, responding to any contact. Is that Rattenport? No. Would Rad Cheryl assume the that this Eastern might be islands. the pin people, the Thiel and them? Is that their is their group the pin? Who? What in Radenport? Order of the pin? Would would Cheryl assume that that might be them? When it comes to Rin? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That are that are doing the fighting in the islands. Oh. Um It wouldn't be unreasonable of you to think that. Okay. Okay. That's Just up to you. Yeah. Keep us informed and Cheryl's gonna go back to the group sorry See? for the lie just <laughs> wanted to get more information before I spilled the beans Cheryl's gonna turn around he's just gonna thumbs, thumbs up, up. And keep on going <laughs> bye Cheryl bye Cheryl Cheryl's what? serving three separate when you when you when you said that last right thing he's gonna say if you need help I mean very obviously stressed <laughs> Osiris Pelor and whatever the fuck your guy is <laughs> I hey, listen. I checked off Osiris by getting getting those kids yeah, yeah. for for a bit. <laughs> Even may have converted one by giving him a holy symbol. <laughs> That's true. That's true. 
made a pally Dan. So Tiefling. Dude, t- Tiefling is a great race for Paladin. For Osiris. <laughs> Tiefling is a great race for Paladin. Yeah. You continue on. Uh, and you return to uh, the wrestling pepper uh, at the bar in the same so I wanted to look for seat. in the market, but I didn't get a chance to speak up. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I just, um, just, look at I the just appeared too. in the market. Like this, y'all are still at the market. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we haven't Yeah, left. y'all didn't leave. It's okay. just Ren that slipped away. He basically said, like, the minute we got to the market, he turned around and went back. Gotcha. Okay. And I was watching well, him. I'll so. go help Chelsea with the food real quick. And then okay. Well, we'll touch base yeah. on this then. Okay. Um, Sitting in the same seat at the same bar, sipping a very similar, if not the same drink, uh, is the half-orc man that you talked to earlier. He notices you come in, but he doesn't move or say anything. I told him to meet me outside. Oh, you said outside. Yeah. Away from people who are listening to us. Crying eyes. Sipping the same drink <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaned up against one of the, the posts uh, as the door swings open and closed as many a patron enter and exit. He notices you, uh, notices you walking towards the door and he just instinctively begins to move uh, down one of the side streets. I'll fall. Okay. <laughs> when he sees you uh, enter the alleyway, he turns and so uh, what else did you want to talk about what is it I'm supposed to do and what do you need me to do well um, you might be used to requests from people that need something this is not one of those this comes straight from the top I came here to pick you up and bring you to Raddenport. You and your friends. Uh Ship got stuck. Ship needs unstuck. Define stuck. (sighs) At any given time, (laughs) any ship that comes into the port of Brigitte It's got some level, some manner of contraband. I'm no stranger to that, and neither are the people that man the docks. But apparently, there's only so much that you can get away with. Hmm. Smuggled a little too much. (sighs) Yeah, more or less. Are we talking pay or are we talking fight? Whatever solution you come up with is fine. You have any help either way? I'm sure I could help a little bit, depending on what you decide to do. What's your preferred method? I may look like I like a fight, but uh, I prefer to keep things cordial if I can. So do I. So do my friends. That's good. Things have gotten a little explosive recently, so I like to keep things on the down though. They tend to do that. Yeah. So, uh, so what'd you get? He's looking into your eyes, but distinctly, it feels like he's staring at the one that isn't there. Rescued. Kind of. Yeah. Same shit? Kind of. Yeah. Anyway. There's no real, uh... Timeline on... Getting this job done, but... I think it goes without saying that it needs to happen before you leave town. Yeah, clearly. You know anything about this, um... What's the guy's name? The captain of the guard here? Uh, Luton. You know anything about this Luton? 
patterns and does he show up at the docks frequently? No, no, no. Luden's never at the docks, but he's uh, he's got eyes. He's got ears. And he knows everything. Can I do an insight check on this guy? Sure. He's wearing a contact. He's what not are you really a... Ch- <laughs> what are you, like, checking in specific? Uh, I'm just trying to see if he is, like... Uh, to see if he I, d- I don't think he's trustworthy but to see if he like is giving me all the information or if I'm not if I'm intentionally if he's like intentionally leaving something out that's gonna cause trouble 12 hard to read but when it comes to the job um seems like he's being uh, pretty forthright with what needs to happen and uh, you gather at the very least that uh, he's pretty tired of running errands just like you might be but there's no other choice you from here not originally no but I'm here a lot if Luton were to show up at the docks that would uh Could that get the ship free? Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine it would. If I need to contact you and let you know that we're ready to go. How? Well, I can, uh, I can come with you. I can give you my name and I can wait here. Whatever is easiest for you. My friends are um, less trusting than I am, so. Bingo. Gotcha. Well, the name's uh, the name's Vordak. Vordak. Ren. I know. I know. <laughs> Glad that you know your own name, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know he knows. <laughs> so I'll just wait here then. Yeah, I'll, um, give me a few days. A few days. Yeah, I'd like to, you know, if possible, not, um, not cause too much of a commotion. Need to figure some things out, make sure that everything is, uh, is good. We gotta get this bo- this dude's boat out of a place. Yep. Prefer to lot. prefer to not hurt what? people who don't deserve to be hurt. Yeah, if you know what I mean. I do. What's it usually take to get a boat out of a lock? Well, I'd imagine the idea you've got would do the trick, but if you're talking manpower. You probably need every hand you've got to untie it from the docks and uh, slip out. Maybe maybe even an extra hand holding off any resistance you might meet. Law doesn't mean much to these people, Zordak. but it means enough. What's his name? Vordak. Vordak. You know, is he, is he doing Klux. something against the Greeks and Republic? Against your people? And it's just you coming with us? Or you have a crew? I've got a small crew. They're staying near the docks. How many more? Three. Names. Names. <laughs> Which names will come when we hit the sea. Yeah. What was their pet's first name? It's not important now. I don't particularly like the open water. Yeah, this is really spicy. Never had I got like mild. It's really spicy. Anyway, we can stay oh closer God. to the... See, to the shore. Well, I hate to tell you this, but Radenport's in the middle of the ocean, and our mutual acquaintance doesn't care. Yeah, no, I never does. All right, I'll get over the fear of the sea. All right, well, 
Talk to you later, Warnock. For what it's worth, it's good to meet you. And uh, I know you don't have a choice in the matter, but I appreciate the help. Hope it works out for you. You too. I'll saunter my back over to them. Saunter. All right. And so with that, we will jump back to the Strand Market. Um, <laughs> I found Thai food there. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. They have everything there, don't they? You Does Thailand exist uh, not right now. Um, in the universe? It's right under. So what are you looking for? You said you had something you were looking for. I wanted to see if there was some kind of... I know, I know, I know. It's because I have I know. food and a limited cable. I know. Um, I was wondering if they had some kind of like yeah, magical gem or stone. Ooh. Well, there's a lot of different stalls here, um, and many of them have lots of different things on them. They're not necessarily, oh, this is vegetables, oh, this is fish, oh, yeah. this... It's like, just everything is just kind of laid out. Um, make a make a perce- perception check for me. It was on a 17 and it flipped to a... Freaking rude. Oh, no. so that's an eight. <laughs> okay. Um you're overwhelmed a bit by yeah. the the hustle and bustle of this place. Um even though you kind of thrive a bit on chaos, um even your own senses are not pointing you in the direction that uh, that would get it before. reveal the thing you desire. Oh, so Nora. Well, could you help me? Use a bitch. Dude, I asked him to do the same thing. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm whoa, looking, whoa, whoa, whoa. looking for a man. He look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know that yes. Is. No. Oh, I, <laughs> I was really hoping that was you. After continuing your search for uh, a bit more time, you find a uh, small booth uh, manned by uh, a extravagant, extravagantly dressed gentleman okay. uh, with wings. Look like the person I'm looking for. He like looks out over the crowd, and then he looks down at you. He says, "Indeed, I am." When I see that he's looking down at me, I'll fly up to meet his (laughs) eyeline. Oh, those are fancy. Do his wings match hers or hers? They are more like hers. Hmm. Are you with Taffy? Well, I was gonna like that's what we're trying to figure out. Is I'm going where the glowy stuff is. Is this a glowy the glowy stuff. Walking with Sarnor, yeah. you're holding him up. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever he goes. <laughs> like a dancing rod. Like, perfect, let's go that way. <laughs> like a rock rod. <gasps> yeah, alright, go in that booth. <laughs> um, <laughs> coincidentally, this, uh, this individual and his booth uh, seem to contain the most uh, glowy things. Glowy things. <laughs> So then, yeah, we're with it. There are none. No. <laughs> the most uh, cool. so glowy of all. So the, the first he thing does. that you notice uh, is that so he, he has a small dagger um, at his at his hip that is glowing, and then on the opposite side, he's got a short sword that is ex- like just embellished with all kinds of jewels, kinds and, of and it's made of gold. But interestingly enough, only the hilt or the, the handle is is glowing. Dagger, sorry, dagger, dagger, sorry, dagger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mom. I'm looking. I'll tell okay. <laughs> <laughs> You were like, uh, I'm like, I don't get I, it. I'm just looking for some kind of stone or item that could help enhance my connection to the Hmm. I don't know what the fuck's out there. So. That's, uh, no, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good question. Yeah. Your mom's a good question. Sorry, I didn't tell you this before too. we started the session. No, that's so okay. When I do this. No, it's fine. He just may not have it. That's what I'm looking at right now. And if you don't have it, <clears throat> could you tell me what I'm looking at? Well... I'm afraid I don't have anything of that specific description, but I do have a beautiful gem that could replace the one that I see has uh, met its untimely end in your bracer. And he holds out a small emerald. Yeah. How much for this? Uh, well, it's rather small. I'm sure I could let it go for uh, half the cost of a normal emerald. 
Uh, maybe a thousand gold. What if I give you my broken one, and then we cut it down to a fourth? What good is a dim and shineless emerald? Gem dust. I'm sure the stuff, the stuff in her thing is an emerald, Gem dust. right? No, it's not. You can no. fill up okay. a uh, fish bowl with it. Starts. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't know if they were like. But this isn't an emerald. emerald. You could use it to grind up. Oh, well, what exactly is it, and <laughs> what could it possibly do for me? As as the well, two of you are walking up, just, you see his things eyes things. dart over to you. He smirks and oh, raises his eyebrow. You see him actually like bow in the traditional oh. sense, and he turns like back. He's from Minara. I'm gonna bow too. So I did it. You see, old friend, this right here is actually a Feywild shard. It has deep connections to the Feywild. Now ah. I have three, and so this broken one doesn't do as She's much for me. So I would like to replace She's it with an emerald, but I'm, I don't need to if, if you're going to charge such an extravagant price for it. Make, we could make an, an even trade here. Make a persuasion check. Jeez. 27! <laughs> Tell me you didn't roll a nat 20? God damn it! He has advantage on these two. Anyway. <laughs> The merchant, merchant, merchant. I'm afraid I don't necessarily have any need for it, especially because I would be peddling it right back uh, to these same streets. I, I, I rely mostly on bringing goods to this place and selling it to the good people of Brigitte. I There's am anything. bringing goods to you. I understand, but I'm sorry. The answer like. is no. It was nice. It was very nice to meet you too. Is there anything else uh, pinging in this room? I'm oh say, yeah. I'm gonna say something if you can't when I say it's nice to meet you. Suck a butt. And say, suck a dick, cowboy. Say, <laughs> 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 hey, are you sure there's nothing you can do for me? <laughs> he doesn't respond. Okay. Um. I tried. You see? Oh god. <laughs> Morgan's gonna love this. Uh, a glowy emerald. Why am I gonna love it? There is a glowy crown. <laughs> uh, a, a very. It doesn't go all the way around, but it That's stops so halfway it. through Tell with a, a red gem at the center. <laughs> with a red gem, oh, it's totally a circle of blasting. It's gotta be. That? You were looking for so Feywild. You asked for, you asked for gems. Or yeah, Feywild gems. You Sorry, asked for Feywild. that is not a Feywild thing. Emerald? Which is not a ruby in a circlet. Well, because he noticed you had a broken thing on your wrist. That's why he also... You he also see uh, a ring with a beautiful uh, turquoise gem uh, embedded in it. Turquoise. Ding, 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 I'm just pointing her to everything. Like, look over here. There is a very uh, well-made lance of... Uh, what? A what? A lance. A lance. It's a weapon. Lance. It's a pass. Not a person. Spear. <laughs> yeah. There's a very well made lance bye, that bye, looks bye. like it's uh, from some distant land, not <gasps> anywhere you've ever been. Uh, mm. The design of it in particular is uh, extravagant, see. to say the least. Uh, and then there is also uh, a set of adamantine chainmail. Adamantium? A Benarian. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the R. But Benarian wow. was funny. <laughs> there really is? Mm hmm. No one wears mail, huh? I you? can, but I don't Dude. because my natural armor is better. Adamantine, though, is the strongest metal. Because I'm an elf and I got tough hide. I mean, it's too based on my shatter. constitution. Yeah. Uh, great. Well, um, I'll point out the circlet, the ring, the ring. and the lance. Mm -hmm. You have a keen eye. Well, I'm a collector myself. <laughs> <sighs> well, um, what can you tell me about these items? He starts off with the lance. He says, it's more than just decoration. It uh, can cut down just about any foe. Um, better than your average lance, I'd say. Uh, it's uh, a plus one lance. Uh, 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 you're going to say Vorpal lance. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this chain mail, uh, in fact, comes from my homeland. Uh, the adamantine was mined there. And is, uh, as far as I can tell only found there you see that uh as he shines it in the sun it actually glistens in a way that's not where uh, is, normal for adamantine i am from banata huh that's funny you mentioned that Taffy is like we uh at you. we happen to be in tow with uh, an emissary 
A Benarshan. You don't say. A Benarshan. <laughs> like a version of Benarshan. <laughs> <laughs> you fixed it. I did. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. <laughs> what, uh, what may I ask, brings you this far in the West? Um, honestly, it's a very long story. Um, started a, uh, um, a, a while ago. <laughs> started a cult, you know. <laughs> Got down. <laughs> followers. I mean. No, I mean, it's, it's, it started very long ago. Um, just on a, on a journey to, to learn as much as I can. You're and from. how have those journeys been going? Good and bad. Sometimes bad repeats itself for a few days. I see. Yes. Journeys do that. Journeys do that. <laughs> I've yes, been on a few sure myself. Yeah. Don't stop believing. Sometimes Don't the good stop days believing. Are actually bad days in disguise. Mm-hmm. Make a Make an insight check. Yeah. Yo, yeah, they're going to ask on Alex. <laughs> Get back to Bucks and away. It's a natural one. Yeah. Oh no! I don't know. What? Add your add your modifier. What is it? A <laughs> uh, ten. He seems. Uh, I mean, he knew where you were from the second you walked up, and your wings aren't out. Um, so that in and of itself should give you some sort of a tip there. Yeah. What? I don't know. Anyway. I'm so confused by that, Alex. His wings aren't out? His wings are out. Your wings aren't out, My but he knew where you were from instantly. He gave you the... Your complexion. Yeah. But you got a tan, right? Uh, I'm very He tan. turns back to you, Sarnorin, and he tan. says, and the ring, uh, probably yes, my course. favorite of the bunch. Really? Uh, it is a ring of resistance. Ah. Specifically, the cold yeah. variety. Ah. Very cool. Well. Could have cool. used that. We are very far south for a ring like that. I was planning on holding it in my stock until I reached uh, the northern town of Dragon Ball. Makes sense. That, yes. No, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's pretty cold. We've we've been very far north. Yes. Um. All right. Um. What What about the circlet? Did we already go over that? Ah, uh, right. Uh, this circlet allows you to shoot uh, a manner of magical uh, beams from your forehead. Wow. All right. I would try to dress that as nicely as I could, but really it speaks for itself. Who wouldn't want such a power? No, that's very cool. I understand. Well? Our daughter guy. No? What do you think, Austin? Do we, do we need any of that? I don't think so. As fun as it sounds, I bet. I know, it so. sounds like a bloody good time. But you know what? I'm afraid we're just going to have to pass this time. My AC would actually be the same. <laughs> with, with, oh my with, gosh. With, with, within and without, yeah. How much for the male? It's really the female that you want. In a way, I am rather attached to it. Are you wearing it? As I say, in a way, it comes from my home, but... In a way, I am also very proud of it and where I come from. I would be honored for someone else to don such a set of mail. I could sell it to you for 575 gold, no less. No less. Well. What do I know about only like certain people wearing mail in Panara? Um, you've seen people wearing chain mail like this before. Um, It doesn't hold any significance, like, spiritually or, like, in a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. It's just, it is... It's just really good. The quality of that adamantine just has a different look to it. Okay. It hit different. Mm -mm. I don't think I can. I think I can wear, like, light armor. That's quite all right. Um, Is it heavy or medium? It's heavy. That's a double check. So you're the only one I can wear it. Yeah. If it's medium, I can wear it. Thing. It is medium or heavy. Medium or heavy? Oh, okay. What I was looking, what I'm looking at, said that it was heavy. It can For be either. Well, is this medium or heavy? Uh, I can oh. wear I can wear any armor. Sorry. He- so I like you have chain. to make the 
choice. I thought it just qualified for either, basically. No, no, no. Uh, I did too. Like a midway shirt. I I'm think- going to say that it does. <laughs> okay. It's like a Hanes beefy tea. It does what? It can be medium or heavy. It's versatile. Yeah. Versatile? Cut some chains off and then it's... I'm not there, but I can It's a crop top. I can wear it. You wouldn't know that. What size fits off? It sets your base AC to 16, I think. Chainmail. And you pretty sure. Anymore. And the adamantine. Is it that just adamantine or is that all chainmail? That is adamantine. Yep. That is <laughs> my correct. AC, my AC would remain the same, but I would trade off... I would get a stealth disadvantage for wearing chainmail and then get... Um, you no know, crits, but I don't. We we usually get hit with DC save stuff now, so it's like you say that. I say that, and then I'm gonna get crit. <laughs> gonna get bloody dragon. Is it an adamantine, it, no crits. No crits. Any crit becomes a normal hit. Ah. No crits in this house. So it still hits. It's just not. Yeah. No crit for the tit. No, that's all right. Um, it's a little too rich for our blood today, I think. But mm-hmm. it's a beautiful collection, and I must commend you on that. Well, thank you. There's nothing you can do for an emissary from your homeland. I mean, she's going to be the... You know, she's just really important. You must have heard of the journey before. Make make a persuasion check with advantage. (laughs) With advantage! Woo! I didn't even do anything to help. That's a 23. You make a fine point. I may be proud of the armor, but I am prouder of my country still. I could let it go for 450. <sighs> yep, well. I tried. Any and I walk out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he wasn't going to give it to you for free. <laughs> he might have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he might have. Yeah. Crazy. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, Sell something and then yes. give you a sob story of why you should donate it to them. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> yep. I don't want it though. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, sorry. All right. Well, um, I think Ren's the only one who could really benefit from it. Yeah. Yes. And it would make me. Let me talk to my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Which You're very welcome. Yeah. You uh, are welcome back anytime to Halim's shop. Thank you. That's me. I'm Halim. 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 Nice my name is Sonorin. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheryl speaks for the first time. (laughs) 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 Cheryl speaks for the first time. My name is Ren. Nice to meet you. You don't even know my last name. I'm the fucking shit. She showed you. Um, You don't even know my first name. Halim, how long has it been since you've been home? Quite recent. I sailed here uh, just about a week ago. Without looking, what's my name? All right. That's wonderful. Last name? How are things? My last name is He. Well, oh, he went like all the way like down. Oh, the I'm looking at that. He brings his. Uh, oh, it's on my character sheet. Boisterous voice down. I knew it. I love my home, and I love the people that are there. You should know that things are not well. The oracles. Health has dwindled. Oh shit, Alex! <laughs> what? Looks like we know where we're going next. <laughs> what? Hang on. I haven't even sent Alex everything about all of the cities and everything and all of the and government. Everything I've made up in my head. <laughs> well, it's wrong now because Alex. It's Alex wrong made up now. The Oracle's health has dwindled. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you, it's almost like you're there. <laughs> the oracle has taken ill with recent events uh, of the continent. Of the what? What were the recent? The events? continent. The continent. Be like very like w- like whispering a lot. Like what were the what were the continent? Shut up. What were the what? <laughs> What's what, the for, what, what were all the conflicts <laughs> happening? Well, mainly the war between Zealous and the rest of us. The strife that has been stayed for far too long, the sword that has been held at bay. This Order of the Shadowed Sun has done all they can, but I fear the 
yeah. tremors in the ground foretell a marching on the rest of the country. Mm. That sucks, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta make sure I understand. Like, Benara marching Throwing here, or like there. others Bye. marching? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you would know that uh, he is speaking about the tremors that you all have been feeling. And, okay. Um, and that uh, likely his interpretation of them has been gleaned from uh, the Oracle's own interpretation that uh, a great strife is coming yeah. and it likely is coming from the West. <coughs> but that's where we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, always, it's always the West. It's always where we are. We too have felt this strife and um, even I think at times been at bay with it. Let us hope for less of it and more of this. Mm-hmm. Where we all can see eye to eye and exchange goods on a sunny day. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much again for having us in your space. Of course. Be careful on your journey. Thank you. We may if be in need of you soon. Interested in seeing a fight? Um, there will be. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of not being careful on my journey, <laughs> watch me kick this old lady's ass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fighting Pepper? Yes. <laughs> I. It is it such a sadness that I. I will have to decline. I set sail tonight. Oh. But oh, okay. I was gonna say it's such a sadness that you're doing that. I, I was know. like, oh, <laughs> You will die, surely. <laughs> oh shit, I'm failing too. I thought he just didn't approve of like the fighting in general. Yeah. I was gonna be like, oh, I, dude. I want my leader as a fighter. <laughs> she builds one bridge and she burns another. <laughs> I will wish you good luck. Um <laughs> We're betting against her. I do want to ask one more thing and then um I will uh leave you to the rest of your day. You mentioned that you know of and, and are aware that the Order of the Shadow of Sun are trying very hard. Um, have you run across anyone here or near here from that order? As far as I know, there is no one in the Order of the Shadowed Sun stationed here. All right. The closest to my knowledge would be in Nivera, but it would not surprise me if there were some that I did not know of after all. They pride themselves on that. That makes sense. Thank you, though. Is that place you just named on the map, or no? It is. Nivira? Is that what you said? Capital of Grixton. No. Oh! The big one. <laughs> but, I mean, but it is somebody that's oh, grown up Oh, not my hometown. From. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It's kind it's like of like... Your Hokage. Is yeah. <laughs> yes. She wants to become Hokage one day. <laughs> Believe it. He gives you another ceremonious uh, bow, uh, and he says, "Be well I'll chosen." Return it. Yeah. Does he know that she's like top dog, or does he? Does he I don't know. That? I have no idea. I think I think it's a pretty. He just regular called you thing. chosen, so. Oh. Mm, that's your new name, Chosen. <laughs> Chosan. Chosan. <laughs> Chosan. Make, cho- make another insight check. Okay, <laughs> Alex. I will allow you to re-roll that. Because I feel like that would <laughs> trigger a second look here. Well, that's a rare. Oh, yeah. That's a 26. Yeah, that's a 2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to totally say. doing that. <laughs> 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 Halim uh, knows that you are chosen. And you know that this is not common knowledge necessarily in Benara. Um, so you would gather that uh, it is Halim's job to know things. Um, he doesn't just sell goods, he sells he secrets, boy. He hey. Yep. Dude, he's got to. We we were on wanted posters for yeah. a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all of them were taken down. <laughs> he probably has them. Yeah. Oh, can, can, you you can you sign this? Can you sign this one? It will really go for a lot <laughs> back in Innocent. <laughs> 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 Why don't you come with 
me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Walk okay. out. Okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Um, all right. Please tell me six hours have passed. <laughs> Is there anything else that you guys would like to do here? I'm gonna freaking mosey around the town like crazy. <laughs> they had mentioned. Drunk, I guess. He had mentioned the the tomes, the market, and that was it. I felt like there was another. Oh, the sword. Though there's a weapon shop that he mentioned too. <coughs> Tested metal. Tested metal. I don't know yeah. if you guys want to check that out. I have no <laughs> desire. Oh, that's why I was looking at her. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Use dude, I have this mace that I like. I always forget about, and I'm like, when we're not combat, I'm like, oh, the flail, 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 whatever. It's a flail. Oh, it's flail. very different. That. It's a mace with a chain attached to the handle, so that the ball can swing around. I always oh, call it always mace. I call, always call it a mace because I'm, I'm prof- I can use maces, but I can't use flails. But you're like, yeah, you can use that. You're, you're proficient in it now. Yeah, that's like, what you yeah. Said. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my sheet, on my sheet, it says maces, so that's I, I haven't that's changed That's fine. Maces. Maces. Hey. But, um, yeah, I always forget that I have it. <laughs> so I don't need any more weapons. So stop stop covered. giving Cheryl magic items is what I, think. <laughs> I, I, I use. I, no, I use the shield and everything. You do. And I've yeah. used the healing on the mace. I just, like, my my attacks yeah, are... are bowler hat. Yeah. Although I do have smite now, so I might start swinging with it. Smite. It's, 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 it's not actually have smite, but I, I essentially have it. What does the hat do? The sky self. The sky self. Why not does. change it into a different hat? You can't. That's you the can't one caveat. Well. It can't disguise. No, it's, it's like part of it. It can't disguise of itself. It's disguised cleric. Self. It disguises you and what you're wearing. Which is well, I was trying to find it to see what as it a hat. Exactly. So the hat doesn't affect <laughs> itself. It's very it's complicated magic. Like, like I wouldn't expect you to understand. Tenth level wizard. Understand. Yeah. I just wanted there to be something different about it. No, I know. <laughs> I'm annoying. What? <laughs> <laughs> Back to the fighty place. Back to the fighty Fight. place. Back to the punchy boys. Punchy boys. Are you guys basically going back for the fight? Yes. Or I mean, yeah, we're going to have to get something to eat at some point. I don't know. We'll probably sit on the docks for a while and just like... Watch pick splinters out of our buttholes or something. Kick our feet. <laughs> oh, time out. Fast yeah. forward. Yeah. We're not doing that. Can yeah. we pretend that? Yeah. You don't yeah. know when they yeah. heard that. I'll tell him what's up. So the whole conversation I'll tell. Had, that I wasn't Taffy, paying attention to so that I didn't what's, know. What's up? <laughs> yep. What's cooking? What's cooking? So I got a gist of it. Don't mind me. Just looking. We got to get the boat. We got to get a shirt. And we have a few days to do it, right? And we're meeting up with... Uh, Zekrom, and, Zekrom, Zekrom and three other dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Reshi Ram, Zekrom, Reshi Ram, Kyrim, Kyrim. Yeah. Sorry. Pokemon I said why and I are having a use terry contest. I just lost. <laughs> 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 it was totally involuntary too. So you just, <laughs> I remember being stupid and Morgan, so and then Morgan just started staring. Should we? Should we get a room for the night then? If we've got. Yeah, I'd like to see if we can. So forward. I'd like to see if we can run, our, run into um, <coughs> money bags. Money bags. Money bags. Loot. Loot. That's my <laughs> Oh, so you meant like money go bags. steal from people. <laughs> I would like to do that. <laughs> now I want to run into, I'd like to, before we, we, before we get a room or sometime in the next day. It, it is canon that Cheryl likes a girl with a big trunk. It is. Oh. It is. It has been said way back when. <laughs> I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ren's, w- Ren's wife is dead. Rejected. <laughs> so. That's what we think. Means, so, you, means you're available. <laughs> <laughs> you could disguise yourself as a woman with a big trunk. Dead, so. Dead wives club. Do we want to get a room at the curly place just so we can lock that down now? Is what I'm asking. So before we move on to other stuff. Yes. Yeah. Get in two rooms. Okay. At the curly, uh, the curly girly gnome. gnome. They're three gold a piece, so six gold I'll per night. Cover it for one night, and we'll see what we're doing after that. Okay. Yeah, Sam's been playing a game, <laughs> same game whenever he's not talking. So then I was like, right, talk forever. It's not true. So one more break. He literally has it open. I don't. <laughs> so you guys aren't doing anything else until the the fight that night, basically, right? Well, he said he wanted to run into person. I don't know if you want to try to run into him before the fight or what. Oh, no, I just want to. I want to make my like. 
That's a tomorrow problem. Okay. That's a tomorrow problem? Yeah. That's what I said. Okay. To the fights. Today. Okay. That's a problem for tomorrow. Good thing to say. The sun begins to uh, set after a day of uh, wandering through the city and familiarizing yourself with uh, all that it has to offer. Uh, mostly booze, some yep. uh, interesting uh, food, and... Uh, Lots of interesting people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. What, uh, if, if it's okay with you, I would like mm-hmm. to retcon. I want to buy some more spices and rice. I was going to say rice. But, uh, hot dogs. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, Schmied. max Schmied. 10 gold. Yeah, I was going to say five. All right. You can pick that up in the Strand Market. Double that. You'll get some pretty like exotic stuff there. So. Yes! Some exotic stuff. That sounds great. Exotic Thank you, Alex. Butter. Yeah, no problem. Just vodka. So as the sun uh, sets and you familiarize yourself with the city, you begin to make your way back towards the wrestling pepper, eager for the fight that is on the docket. Tickets in hand, most of you. Sure, we'll pull this ticket back Tickets out. are, my tickets Everybody? are in my hand. Tickets, Everybody, tickets. Ready? <laughs> yep. Right. We're ready. Well, sorry, you'll just have to wait outside. <laughs> As uh, as all of you uh, walk in, Jostrog imme- immediately recognizes you, and more specifically <laughs> you. And he uh, he holds his arms up. He says, "Ladies and gentlemen, the main event: Pepper and Pepper, <laughs> Pepper and Pepper <laughs> fights. Where do we- yes. Where do we place bets <laughs> with Jostrog?" The man who is screaming at yeah. the bar right now. Walking towards him. When he stops screaming, I would like to go up to him and tell him, I'm placing a bet on Pepper. Just to confirm, I know it gets a little confusing. My Pepper. Pepper. His Pepper. Your the- Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> make a, make, I was going to say, make a deception check. Okay. Why are we deceiving? It's in that one. <laughs> My, my pepper. You're going to need to make this clear so I yeah. know who to place the... That one. Easy enough. What's your bet? <clears throat> what are the odds? Yeah. That's well, and he kind of looks... I bet my dad can beat up your dad. Five I'll, to one. I'll bet, I'll bet five gold. So she's right. got the bad odds. Is that what he's saying? Five to one against you. I'm sorry. Actually, Peppers. I, the namesake for a reason. I'm going to bet one platinum. That's 10 gold. Yeah. Ah. He kind of bites it in his teeth. It's a nice coin. Poor teeth. <laughs> it's He's just a like, dwarf. Eh, you don't eh, care. Eh, Cheryl, Cheryl, he munches rocks for fun. Cheryl's going to put 20 gold down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On, on our friend. Hey, bad. She loses. Hey, bad. She loses. Like hey, bad. Place your bets, everyone. Odds are five to one. Five to one. <laughs> What's your uh, maximum bet? never been reached before. You just walk around telling everyone hi. The limit does not exist. <laughs> Be careful, friend. It's a slow night. I don't know if you've ever seen Pepper in action before, but uh, she packs a wallet. like a goofball. She had an off day the like, other night. But I'm fighting. I don't think you've ever seen my friend fight. I haven't. It's gonna suck. 200 All of it's going to suck. Wow. And I'm okay if it does. He counts it out. <laughs> she pulls it behind yeah. the counter. I mean... That's fair. <laughs> it's about to not be fair. Well, this is that's why. I, that's why I only put twenty because, like, I can still. There's a few spells that need gold that I can. I can still cast with that. So. <laughs> Testing your dice. Yes. <laughs> Already put away a two. <laughs> As the rest of the be- uh, bets filter in, um, Jostrog finds a moment, pulls himself away, and walks over to you. He says, uh, "Pepper." Um, yes. <laughs> Is there uh, anything in particular yeah. that uh, that you might need? Any uh, any weapons? You prefer uh, staff, hand to hand? Um, no, no, I see no, you've I'm, got I, some. Yeah, I've, I, I have my staff if I need it, but no, I mean most of it will be hand to hand. We like to ensure a fair fight, so yeah, absolutely fair fight. No, you did. All right. How much would it cost to buy the buy a round for the whole bar? Ooh, lots of people in here. Drinks would be on a gold piece. Don't use that dice. Really? Couldn't even roll it in the thing. That dice gets fucking out of here. We'll see fifty gold just to kind of keep it, it easy. No. 
Wash your hands. Wash your hands. When when <clears throat> she's about to go <clears throat> out on That's Cheryl's gonna kind of pat her on the back it. and say like good luck, but cast guidance on. Oh, I freaking <laughs> no! I That's so. Cool. That's what you call hedging your bets, people. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to pat her rolls if I need to. <laughs> I pat her on the back and cast fireball. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I bet against you. <laughs> I bet I against a thousand you. against you, baby. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. All right, I'm gonna take the gold. Here, have fun. Thanks, <laughs> You just asked. You're not actually gonna do it, or? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much to buy drinks for everyone at the bar? Richard. Fifty gold. <laughs> 50 Can I have fifty gold? gold? Okay. okay. <laughs> Just um, like Sam. You better stop giving him money. Dude. So Josh Strog no, kind of uh, says, Well, if you're ready, uh, follow me. I'll take you to the entrance. So right before they start, I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get drinks all around. Like before, as, as they're setting up, I'm going to buy drinks all around. Okay. Everyone, uh, everyone is in brighter spirits, including uh, Vordrak or Vordak. Born Alex, is this set up for uh, yet? Like, are you uh, gonna do that? <laughs> it isn't. Um, it's not a. It's not an actual. Okay. It's one on one, so you don't need to know really yeah, like, yeah. where you are or anything. And you're in a cage, basically. It's a cage. No, match. I was, Nobody's yeah, I was going, going anywhere. To go to the bathroom. That's why I asked. I got I was like, three oh, gotcha. minutes of playtime. <laughs> Bonesaw is Thank ready. You. I think that they can keep the minute. Yeah, <laughs> we can I'm stall good. if you really gotta go. Nah. You gotta be. I'm calm. You Waterfall. No, I stop. Sam. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> that, I honestly was expecting that from Sam. That's why I was like, I was like, stop. Because he always does that. He's like, you gotta pee. You think about rivers? And I'm like, so. <laughs> as Jostrog leads you to the opening in the cage, uh, Cheryl finds you, pats you on the back. Uh, he opens it. Uh, you walk in, and he closes it behind you. The ground beneath your feet is actually a. Uh, Bodies. It looks like it was dirt at one point, um, but so much fighting has been done here uh, that it has uh, congealed into a mixture of like loose dirt, gravel, chunks of solidified sand. Solidified with what? With blood. Yeah, more or less. Yep. <clears throat> Gross. It's like nasty, like Mississippi clay. This is clean. kind of random, you. but I'm going to have you make a nature check here. Okay. Oh, Lord. You recognize this blood. It's your blood. It's, your blood. it's from that vial. <laughs> You're dying right now. <laughs> You're dying. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> okay. uh. Never mind. I'm going to roll it because. Okay, now you're rolling it. Got it. Cool. That makes sense. Oh, damn it. Okay. Online when I clicked Take it, it was a 21. And this first. one was a That's 2. Fine. Take that one. Take the, Because you clicked the, the, clicked the online one first. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, and it was taking a while to roll. 21. Although the ground here that you stand on is unsettling, um, the loose dirt does feel familiar to you because you've lived so much of your life around loose sand. Mm -hmm. You gather that probably a lot of people that fight in here might not be uh, familiar with the way that it gives and moves as you uh, shift your weight. Uh, okay, but you what? are. <clears throat> I am. And as you begin to notice this and look up around the, at the cage um, that surrounds you uh, and the people in the stands who are now cheering at the top of their lungs with full drinks in hand, thanks to Rin and your gold. Um, <laughs> Rin and your gold. You hear uh, Josh Drog uh, begin to shout. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a treat for you tonight. Tonight, we've got two wonderful ladies who's gonna fight it out in the pit. Yeah! Ah! In this corner, we have the challenger, Pepper, not to be confused with the one who is our namesake. And everybody kind of like is a little confused, okay. but they cheer them. Ah! Like, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> And for the one you all know, the one who you cheer for, the one you came tonight to see. In this corner, we have Pepper! And everyone begins to like, half the drinks are spilled at this point because there's moisture thrown up in the air. Out of uh, the other 
uh, gate and closing it behind her, you see uh, Pepper, who, uh, after hearing about uh, what happened the night before, you would expect to be a bit beaten and bruised. She looks right as rain. Mm. Right as rain. She cracks her knuckles and begins to stretch, kind of reels her arms back, puts her hands up and assumes her fighting position. She says, I hope you know what you're doing, honey. I hope I do too. He says, fight! And everyone begins to cheer and erupt. Roll a d20. Oh, God. Uh, it'll be initiative, so add your initiative to it. I need to change the music. Oh, no. Yeah, you do. What are you? Why did it change to this? Let's see. Y'all ready for this? All right. Um, so what did you roll? A 15. Okay. Pepper's going to leap into action just a bit. You're taken, you're taken aback by the crowd and the noises around you. She rushes you head on and... Directly before. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. She slides across the ground, losing her footing for a moment, but tries to catch your ankles. You dodge nimbly out of the way. You have a chance to make a counterattack. <gasps> Woo! Okay, I'm going to do that. Guidance gives you a D4 added to a roll of your choice, but once you add it, it it's gone. Okay, got it. Um, a 21 to hit. That's going to hit. Okay. Um, all right, so she, has, she dove forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, she slid more or less and tried to grab your oh, ankles as stop. like she's basically trying to bring you down okay. to the ground. Whenever, she's sweeping the legs. Whenever I see her do that, I'm gonna like 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 swap my feet and like turn them. And as I do that, I'm going to like take um uh my palm like this and I'm going to boom like into her chest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you drop down. You're like, well, if you want to bring me down to the dirt, then that's what we'll do. You drop. You drive your uh, elbow straight into her sternum, and you hear the air leave her lungs. <clears throat> and do I get to roll? Okay, okay. This is this is basically going to be like contested rolls. This is okay, not going right, to be no like damage. damage. Yeah. Okay. So um, she scary. kind of rolls off to the fight. side before she takes a second then. hit uh, from you. Uh, stumbles to her feet. She says, <laughs> "You hit good." <laughs> she is. She is completely stunned by the hit. She can't catch her breath. Just like the sheer amount of wind that was knocked out of her has immobilized her this turn. Okay. All right. Then um, uh, probably as she's like, I'm like coughing forward. I'm going to just like, like smack her um, uh, in the nose, but like with my it? heel. No, no, I'm just going to be like, Choo! like, so it's Stay not like down. a stomp, <laughs> but it's just like a little. She, she, well, she did stand back up. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, she's right. standing. Got it. She stood back up. Oh. Well, then. No, I mean, no. Then I'll. Then I will do it with my head. I'll okay. Do it. Thank you. As she's like kind I of trying to know. gasp for air, you run up and just like smack wow. your head against hers. Uh, she falls wow. back to the ground, rolling backwards, catching herself on her heels, stumbling against the. Uh, she's against the the cage that surrounds you, um, and she seems to be leaning up against it for a moment as she tries to right herself. She shakes it off. Okay, she begins to charge at you in earnest this time. She says, two can play at that game. And she leaps forward because she's so much shorter than you. Her head drives straight into your gut and you feel the air knocked out of you. You fall to a knee and you begin to stand back up and she's she's ready to strike. She's jumping okay. back and forth. Okay. You, you have a chance to strike back if you'd yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like as she's like like standing back up, um, I'm trying to figure out like where she's going to be. Um, since she she drove her head into my stomach, I'm going to like knock her in the throat. Okay. Ooh. Roll. Make your roll. Right. Okay. Right in the throat. Ooh, natural twenty. <laughs> oh. She's already struggling to breathe. You, yeah, I'm you really just like you take it off. out. <laughs> you channel your inner wisdom that you have uh, just, grown oh, so out. proud of, <laughs> and uh, you know that. Striking hard is not necessary when you know where to strike. You reach out, poke her in the, in the throat. <laughs> and she's trying. If she could speak, 
you feel that she might mutter, cheap shot. <laughs> I'm getting some serious Sherlock Holmes vibes whenever he's doing that yeah. fight in the pit. <laughs> discombobulate. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen the, the meme version where he just says discombobulate like five times? <laughs> Step one, discombobulate. Step two, discombobulate. <laughs> Step three, discombobulate. And then it just shows him discombobulating five times and the guy falls over. It's really great. <laughs> So she is going to try and make an account, uh, a counterattack against you, but it's going to have disadvantage because she can't really breathe very well. Okay. I was also going to ask you, is it like, are we doing anything that's like reactions to? No, this is no? just like okay. it's a back and forth. I mean, really, like it's a it's a back and forth. Okay, no, DC. I just want to double check. Yeah, um, she stumbles forward. She's been jumping back and forth, and it looks like she can't catch her breath because she's been moving around so much and so you see her movements begin to slow and as she throws out a lazy punch uh, you're able to deflect it easily deflecting swat okay swat. um all right so um, walk away so as she's like punching to me um yeah i want i want to like like go past it but then i want to catch her arm like up here and then just like hit this in as hard as i can trying to hit the elbow Ooh. in the wrong direction roll Ooh. <laughs> We'll did, see if you, it works. Did you, did you use Becca. guidance yet? Nope. No. Okay, you just saw oh, shit. <laughs> I still have it. Mm, okay, I might use that right now. Um, you roll a d4 and add it to it. Roll a d4, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm going to use it right now. Where the, okay. where the frick are my d4ers, y'all? Ooh. <laughs> Natty four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Natty four. Uh, 19 total. Okay. That'll work out. Crunch. As you hit the elbow Thank in, you. you do actually hear a, a distinct pop. Um, she kind you know of, what's <laughs> which is weird. Like just hearing that sound come out of this gruff, bearded dwarven woman. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, I didn't you know, know she had hurt. a beard. <laughs> oh yeah, she, oh, yeah, she has a beard. Her ass kicked every time we come. To this <laughs> yeah. She she that. stands back, <laughs> and you hear that pop again as she. Puts it back in place. She does like this. You go, ooh, sorry. I know that hurts. It's happened before. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to Don't strike back. Don't, Don't patronize me. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I know that hurts. <laughs> she rushes back in at you and swings out a much more intense uh, attack this time. All right. Throwing her punch straight at your face. Uh, but you swing really? just, just out of reach. Okay. All right. Picture nose. Um... Uh, and as that is happening, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to like kick her shin in, um, so that like it kind of like <laughs> just not, reverse not all the joints, in, 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 just, like, <laughs> just like like kick mm -hmm. her shin like really hard so that like she kind of like falls mm -hmm. to one knee. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. That's How close are we to her? To who? That, that hits. That hits. Uh, you're in the stands. You'd be maybe forty feet off uh -oh. at the closest. I could cast bless on her if I was thirty feet away and just give her guidance. Again. No outside interference. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, we would never. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not sending spells nine. back and forth. No. <laughs> All right. No, I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure it hits. <clears throat> you kick her in the shin and she drops to a knee. Uh, you see, like across her brow is just like she's smitten with with pain and she can't bring herself to stand back up at this moment. Um, from there, she's gonna try and like grab onto you and yeah. pull you down. She grabs you around the legs and reels back with all her strength. As sure-footed as you are on this uh, unstable ground, you feel the dirt kick out from under you and you fall flat on your back. Mm -hmm. uh, she now has you uh, basically pinned against the ground. With your leg. Okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I'm going to, <laughs> no. Um, okay, <laughs> yes, all right, this is a good question. Um, am I pinned on my back or on my stomach? Your back. My back. Okay. Her shoulder is basically driving into like your your pelvis. She's holding your leg. And All right, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna take my leg, like my knee area, and just like slam it like into her like I think it's gonna be like her neck or her shoulder or something. Okay. With your free leg. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, so like whichever like opposite side she's on. Go ahead and roll. Okay. And we are right now. Um, natural seventeen plus nine. Okay. 20. As you <laughs> as you pull your knee up into her into her neck, you actually uh, hit like a, 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 a artery. artery. Dude, it's her whole throat area that I've gone for. It's like all of this. Her throat chakra. 
as yes. you as you strike it, you actually see her eyes roll back in her head, and she begins to loosen her grip and fall over. She catches herself at the last okay. moment, but she's dazed. Do it. Do it. It's a UFC fight. Just un. Just yeah. till they pull you off. <laughs> She kind of just holds out a hand and like tries to push you back, but it, it doesn't offer much resistance. Yeah, do it. Just fucking kill her. Bounce her head off the fucking floor. Just. I am going to do that, but, it, but it's not going to be like that <laughs> assertive. It's more going to be like a, like a very controlled like hit to where it's going to be like. And that's it. You're going for like, it. Got it. Like, yeah, just like one inch back, punch like, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Grab her hair and pull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll. Okay. How far would I like this I'll be super impressed. Uh, 16 plus Wait, 9. <laughs> 27? As you see uh, Pepper, not to be confused with Pepper. Pepper. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Lying on the ground, nearly defenseless, trying to make sense of which of the two of you she's seeing you actually are. Got you uh, slam your hand into the back of her head and she just drops to the ground. Um, she rolls over. She's dazed yeah. and yeah, she Cheryl. looks up. Good, nice fight. Uh, no, I'm not gonna hit her again. Put her everyone, teeth. the crowd Put erupts, face. and you look over for a moment. You see, you see Josh Trog's jaw just like on the floor. <sighs> he kind of like runs his you hand over his best. bald head. <laughs> he says, is "There you way, have it for the second night it. in a row. Where's the going? challenger is victorious." Yeah! He just lost so much money yes, again. He yes, he did. <laughs> oh, he's made plenty on on uh, on other fights. Sure. <laughs> Plus, I mean, like people people with drinks and you, stuff. Too, and you'd yeah. imagine that yeah. just about yeah. everybody else in this bar probably bet so, on her. So I yeah. bet ten. Do I make a hundred? It's five, five to one. Five. five. So Try again. Yep. So I make a thousand. <laughs> he bet two hundred. <laughs> I was a safer bet. I, I get, I get what, a hundred? You yeah. Twenty. Because yeah. I yeah. Twenty. So you all meet up with uh, Josh Drog to collect your winnings. Yeah. All right. You owe me some of that. Um, he doles them out. No questions asked. It was really impressive and intimidating. Please don't ever touch me. I don't think he better at all. I hope We're close friends. God, that's I really that's what scares me the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna press the digitation music. Oh, run, thank you. Please run the side. Oh, okay. <sighs> Lots of Cheryl's gonna be like, do you want to? Also, also it's terrifying. I'll it press the digitation pepper too. So it's awesome. You hear me? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> She, uh, also very she kind of cool. looks over and gives you the old so like uh, boxer leaving the ring yeah, like thumbs up. She's got like a black eye. Yeah. 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 I can't view you, but I can Channel the rage. Here, another shower. <laughs> oh yeah, healing healing makes sense. Uh, she's bleeding, but she smells good. Charles, Charles going to say, I am a cleric. Do you want me to? Yeah, I, know. I can handle myself. Okay. She continues on and uh, leaves the scene. If nice. we're <laughs> if, if if we're still in town tomorrow, Can I, I would again? definitely suggest don't bet against me. I look very nice, but I you fight uh, you fight just as hard as Pepper does. Makes sense. Maybe I'll name my daughter Pepper. I think that's a good name. You have a daughter that doesn't not have yet. A name that doesn't have a name. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> or like not yet. Yeah, uh, one day. You're expecting. I hope to one day. Oh. Sorry, this got weird. It did, yeah. Way to go, Sarnorin. Fucking shit. <laughs> well, it's like in this, in this time, like, how do they know that it's a daughter before Does it's born? And then also, like, chicken wings or food Magic. or something? No, it's Magic. just the fight. All right. Magic or a string with a coin on it? You know, I'm starting to think people didn't pay when they came through the door. You know, some sneak in. Bastards. <laughs> If you'd like to, you can make an insight check on any of this, but nah. yeah. <laughs> he believes it all. I believe that the nice young man who sold me tickets earlier was telling never, the truth. Would never lie. <laughs> and nobody has told him otherwise. I tried. <laughs> I Could tried you buy too. Me a drink? Thank you. You have one at the bar. Could you buy me another? Yeah, he bought one for I everyone. One for That's everyone. true. Buy you you one at the bar. Thank you. Buy me another. Thank you. Come on. No, for real. You have one at the bar. For real. Come on. I'm going to go grab that one and drink it. I'll give you your 50 say, gold back. Say, all right, Rin, come on. Yeah, I want my 50 gold back. What about all the other golds? Buy me a drink. That's all I'm asking. One. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> one shelf. How much is a drink? Uh, single gold. I want a shelf. <laughs> shelf. Of drinks. One shelf. <laughs> one shelf. <laughs> 50 back in your thing. 
Yay! I really would have paid you back. I mean, I, I just needed the 50 gold. I was doing I'm that. I'm gonna go so back that... through all the other episodes and figure out how much money you owe me. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Here is my thousand dollar winnings. Yeah. Also, the thing is, you have our party gold, so yeah, it's not necessarily gold, so I'm that. I'm not taking gold directly. Yeah. From you. Although the 50 gold should 50 go back gold. to the party pool. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did that. <laughs> yeah. I did that. But that was my two. That was my 200 gold yeah. I spent. Yeah. And I earned fair and square by betting on the person, and I absolutely would have cheated for it. You did both cheat. times. I, I did. I, I would have cheated last night. I didn't have to. Yeah, I would have cheated too. <laughs> yeah, I had whole monster ready. Let's be real. I'm pretty sure Arsene Wade was going to win that the whole time. Same, yeah. same. But <laughs> oh, I, I, was I was ready, ready for to. It. If I've got, if I've got cantrip guidance, why not? <laughs> yeah. My Pepper, was, Pepper has the worst luck ever. By the way, it, yeah, she does. I was rolling it, so hey, shit. Yeah. I want you to know, I almost ca- it wouldn't have actually been as good because of the way you did the fight. But I almost cast motivational speech, which would give her. Adv- I guess it would have done good. The only thing that would have mattered is that it would have given her advantage if she ever got hit mm. on her next attack roll. It would have just given her advantage <laughs> whenever she got hit. <laughs> well, damn. On the slot bike, it also gives you five temporary hit points and advantage on wisdom saving throws. <laughs> so not necessarily the things, but so but those yeah, that- two wouldn't have mattered. But the advantage on the after, yeah, nice. But that's what I was like. Damn it, I had this prepared for so long, but damn. I never, never used it. Is there anything else that you guys would like to do? Before maybe calling it a night? I am very to go Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go off to bed and then come out as a different person. And I'm just going to, like, figure, like, uh, the thing I'll do f- for some of the night is try to find a way to get around um, money bags. I can't remember his name ever. Uh, Luton. Luton. I don't, it's <laughs> super easy name to remember, too. <laughs> Cheryl would ask. Oh, down. Is there anything you need me to prepare tonight? Yep. Silence. I already had it. Okay. Okay. Just making sure there's like. I don't know what else you. Can yeah. What, water you, walk or anything else like that. Water walk could probably water be walk. useful. Okay. I can okay. send us off to bed with a story. <gasps> yeah. It, I unbeknownst to me, Becca actually had a story prepared yeah. for the kids. That's I, I thought I said it. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay. Regale us with a story. We had the same <laughs> name, but not really. <laughs> Z- Zone of truth. I took her name, yeah. and then I took her else? fucking bar. No, that's pretty much it. That's crazy. Uh, it's already almost ten o'clock. I know. I feel like we just started. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll start reading my story. So, this is a story that my mom told me whenever I was a little girl, um, and according to her. She was having, um, her and my father were having a lot of trouble having a child. And she is a very, um, simple and kind and, um, interesting druid. And so she would bring things out into the desert and she would read the story to the things, um, that she later gave to me. So the story is, um, okay, I'm just going to read it. (laughs) In the desert lands, long removed from rain, grass, snow, trees, and rocks, there lived water, fire, wind, and sand. The water lived alone, far away from the fire. Fire was very angry at water for silencing its roars. Fire wanted to grow, to provide warmth, to provide light, and it wanted to move. And water was mad at fire for always causing pain, and water wanted to help. It longed to be part of love, care, and nourishment. And sand stood still during very long days, but it was friends with water and friends with fire and friends with the wind. Sand could be little or could be very tall, but sand's favorite thing to do was to travel with wind. The two always could be found together. Wind would bring along sand for fun and it would whisk through the fire, giving it light, giving it breath, and it would help move it far and taller than it could reach on its own all the way up to the sky. And then wind would bring water new life by moving it around. It would tickle the surface and cause the life to move underneath at the bottom. It helped keep water safe and healthy and joyful. And sometimes it would bring, it would be so strong that water would be big with waves and bring it further and further. Chelsea. <laughs> oh, God, no. oh my God. Our roommate is laughing Chelsea. in the background. Dude, I thought it was a dog too. No, it's Chelsea. <laughs> um, Over time, the wind would bring life from further away to the water. After many years, small spots in the sand became green and spread. Water was eager to give and grow the lives of those around it. Fire heard the news from the wind and the sand, who were always playing and always bringing along stories from far away. 
fire would be sad and low sometimes, and the wind would breathe life back into the fire and carry it further. After years of hearing the tales of water flourishing, fire wanted to know why water would never join it. So one day after waiting and talking with the wind, they decided to travel together so water could talk with everyone. San promised to sit in between and Wen promised to stand with each other so no one felt alone. When fire arrived, they all began to speak, but water could feel the heat. Water didn't want fire to be no so near the green. The green began to burn and water could feel it. Water pulled from the depths and pushed itself further and further until the waves began trying to silence fire once again. And fire was angry at water and began to grow and slash. Wind moved between the two to get them to calm down, but the wind kept carrying one to the other and one to the other, and they were both angry at wind for helping each other. And finally, water was surrounded by fire. Fire burned up all the green, and water gushed at fire, finally silencing the matter. A small amount of fire was carried back by the wind and stayed far away. Fire stayed low for much time. Wind was regretful of interfering and whisked away with sand, the two together but always missed talking with water and fire. They stayed stagnant, stagnant, and they mourned the growth of the green. After much time, green began to grow back, and water rejoiced. Green showed water that fire is not only angry, but it can bring new growth too. Green shared that the two have existed together for many years across all other lands, and one day, wind heard water crying out once more, alerted it, rushed towards the water, and came upon a beautiful oasis, full of green and laughing with water. This was the first time. Green was stretching further and wider than before, and wind carried sand to see how this could be. Water told wind what happened and asked for it to go and tell the fire. Water didn't want fire to be alone anymore. And water now knew of fun ways to play with fire without burning up the green too soon. So when flew across to tell the fire of this tale, fire was joyful and danced around, reaching to the sky with fun sparks popping out, and wind carried fire to water so they could all play. For many years, they lived together and grew together, each taking turns to be stronger or softer to help the other green with the sand grow all across the lands, none to ever be alone again. Yay! Yeah, Becca. You wrote that? I wrote that. It's That's so awesome. Good. Wow. I can say uh, can we publish with that in real life? yeah, and it's my little children's with story. Full Pinata. certainty that uh, the tiefling children that heard that would have been uh, very happy. Dude, I know. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> we need so, to like publish that for real. I'll put it in the Discord. Yeah. With, with a regaling of tales, a bedtime story. Uh, a belly full of ale and uh, a body uh, with a few bruises. We <laughs> end, full. yeah, it's we full. end our story for tonight, and we'll pick up next session here. I yeah, I know we missed what? it. You were too busy talking with Chelsea. Damn. We just had regular <laughs> ass footage tonight, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, everyone who stuck around and is watching on YouTube, uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you're watching us there. We'll see you next year. We'll see you next year um, with a bunch of, uh, you know, new year, new, new me stuff. vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Disguise you? <laughs> Disguise you. Disguise <laughs> you. Until then, um, go out there and make some chaos. Bye. 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 Bye.